Enjoy the show. Be safe, y'all. Take care. Have fun. episode 225 of technical file the sports podcast you never knew you needed this your boy t-i-m-k-i-n-z the number three aka ass catch make k-a mr give it to me i feel good this week how y'all doing <laughs> i'm the rj only known as the rj and i'm camille point guard of the crew the real life tifa like heart the girl next door you know holding it down for all the women who love sports and it's your boy k harris the gentleman the gentleman. The everyday gentleman. 24-7. Um, but better known as K-Diddy. Take that. Take that. All right, folks. Housekeeping. Social medias. We are here every week at the social media sites, Twitter and the Instagram, yeah, at Technical File. Yep. <laughs> that is T-E-C-K-N-I-C-A-L. We are also on the Facebook, Technical File Podcast. We also have a Facebook Overtime group. I fucked that up, but still, it's a Facebook group. It's called Technical File Podcast Over Time. No, it's Technical File Pod Over Time. Good Lord, where am I at? I ain't oh. fucked this up in a minute. It's been a while. You gonna need that down. It's been a while. Anyways, Technical File Pod Over Time is our group where you can join in with the listeners, <clears throat> fans, and the fan. But also, we have a YouTube Technical File Podcast. Actually, if you tune in right now, if you're listening through the Good News app. Yes, sir. You can see us at the moment. There it is. No. You trying to turn me down, bro? Yeah. yeah. He, turned he turned you down, you down by he <laughs> turned I, Camille I turned down by accident. accident. Yeah, fam. She can't get the same treatment. No. No, because she's not screaming. Not yet. Only if y'all Cam- make me mad. <laughs> 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 I don't think Camille's ever hit the level that you just had on the intro. <laughs> <laughs> and that ain't your loudest. <laughs> that's, that's very true. I was chilling, bro. What you talking about? Okay. Point. <laughs> <laughs> We, 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 we done with the housekeeping? Yeah, I gave more. Oh, okay, I feel, I feel you. Just check it. Make a show. Well, like I say every week, man, if you guys enjoy being a part of this amazing tech file fam, um, share with everyone you know. Your mama, your daddy, your uncle, your granny, um, baby mama, baby daddy, mm-hmm. husband, wife, wherever. Mm-hmm. Um, Whoever. Whatever you identify Whenever. as. Um, share. Whenever. We here. <laughs> I'm <laughs> um, top the person on to, um, shit. I'm, I'm out of, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I am. Out of sorts right now. It's but, like, brother, take me um, in. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got it. Um, but yeah, wherever where you listen right now, man, tap that person on the shoulder. Be like, yo, hey, I'm listening to Tech File. Motherfucker. You should listen to. There <laughs> you go. Gotta be that's all, all I need. I need to get a hard show to tap too. Yeah, I just need a little. Uh, <laughs> why does it have to hey, be? Hey, Tiffany. Excuse me. And why do you tap with your middle finger? <laughs> That's the freaking That's finger. weird. That's, <laughs> weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's the strongest finger, too. You be know, see how sturdy that motherfucker is. <laughs> That's why I can't say that motherfucker's strong as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, too. <sighs> but, um,. Um, like every week, man, make sure you guys download the Good News Radio app. Definitely yes, sir. do that. Uh, we're here every Tuesday, man, from 6 to 8.30. Central time. Um, tap in, man. Interact with us. Um, but don't can, tap with your sturdy finger. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> with your sturdy finger. Right. You don't, um, wanna, you, know, you don't want to type the wrong thing. Make sure you know it's sturdy. Oh, what you trying to tap there, brother? <laughs> 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 um, but, yeah, man, make sure y'all interact with us, man. Become part of the show. Um, yeah. And we, we definitely appreciate it. Um. Shit, I don't have another tech file challenge unless y'all do. Oh, I can't think of one. No, nah, man. I right, got yeah, it. We got an email saying our channel is live now on the YouTube, and the picture for some reason that is screenshot. It's just Tim looking at the camera. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> like I don't nah, just, <laughs> <laughs> looking like a terrorist. I don't shit. know why they picked that particular image. It's all right, though. They, you know they they feel me knocking. That's oh. not with that middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> we need to take a picture of his finger doing that. Shit. <laughs> don't nobody see that ashy that's finger. The clip no. <laughs> Oh, damn, it's, a little, it's got a little, little, yeah. a little, it's a little bit, bro. <laughs> Hands looking a little oh, harsh. Hey, I'll be using a hand sanitizer, bro. I'm well, saying, hey, you know, just a little bit. Got to hit it with that lotion next, man. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Bro. Hey, bro. We know, we know how you get down, brother. I ain't say nothing. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, man. Anywho. <laughs> 
uh, wherever you find podcasts, you can find us. That includes Apple Podcasts, mm-hmm. Google Play, yep. mm-hmm. SoundCloud, yep. Stitcher, Spotify, Spotify, Pandora, Pandora, Amazon Music, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, Boom Boom, Himalaya, Like a Player, Wooshka, Wooshka, and the award winning Good News ad. Good, good News. Yeah. Jazz hands, I like it. Make sure that y'all download the Good News. I'm putting emphasis on it. You hear me? Download the Good News Radio app. Actually, we have another thing. If you go to our social medias at the moment in our stories. On if they our, listen to live. If you listen to live. Instagram. Well, it's 24 hours still, right? I mean, if they listening on yeah. Friday, it ain't going to be there. That's true. <laughs> but on our story currently at the moment, it is a QR code where you can go ahead and download the app. For sure. We're making it easy for you to the get Easy money. App. It'll there be up know. on it'll be actual posts at some point in time too, but yeah. Do it. Yeah, we'll make it an actual post. So uh, yeah, if you listen to this, find a QR code, download that app. It is a great app to have. Like I like I, you mentioned before, it is a radio app for real, for real. Like you go to the TGN sports side, go up in there, hit play, and it's just gonna stream all the shows. And we are live every Tuesday between six and eight thirty PM <laughs> Central Time. So come on, tune in, check yeah. us out. Y'all know I'll be going rogue with the giveaway. So <laughs> if you screenshot and send it no and tag three people in it we'll give you a shirt Ooh, just anybody so screen, screen anybody. And just screenshot the qr code tell people hey download the app listen to tech file add that in there too listen that's to easy it. easy money so tag us tag three other people picture of the qr code in our story we'll give you a free t-shirt there you have it free it's easy for the free for the free you listen like, to i don't even pay for shipping like you know, yeah. like it, it costs you nothing <laughs> Just cost him something. So go ahead, take advantage of that, y'all. Um, but obviously, you can find us wherever you're listening now. While there, make sure you're to like, subscribe, rate, and review. Five stars are better. It helps us. We appreciate it. For sure. We need all of them stars, all of them reviews. If you give us likes. a four, you are definitely a hater. You again, missed it again. Missed it. Dude, oh. it'd be like, <laughs> what did I miss? The plane. If, if you give, you give us, us a four, four you, you definitely are a hater. A oh. Yeah, man. Whore. It gotta be a hoe. It gotta four be a hoe. No, Jingle Bell. Four is a hoe. Oh, okay. All right. Come on, man. I'm tired. I'm tired. Eggs. I'm tired. I'm here though. Hey, man. You got to push through. You gotta I'm push. You got to put on a. I'm uh, definitely pushing. A got, show face. You got some shots here. Yeah. Some, <laughs> some alcohol. You want? Some, yeah, we got. <laughs> we got a whole assortment of liquor <laughs> over there. If you want to wake up real quick, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. with that damn bottle to wake up. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's definitely gonna be some fisticuffs in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Highest rated show. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Duke, we apologize later, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck some shit up in here. Celebrity boxing match schedule. <laughs> Tim vs. Ken. <laughs> Podcast boxing match. Light bulb. <laughs> hey, oh, what? Right. Get some. Um, they got to be the big ass gloves, though. What was the one with the kids? The rock and the yeah, blow up the joints. Yeah. Or sock and boppers, my bad. Man, listen. All I know is I have one of the deflated hey, songs. Uh, let's do the pugil sticks, bro. The what? What's that? Pugil sticks. Oh, they like used that? Glad- yeah. yeah, that's a oh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, Gladiators. That yeah. show was dog. Uh, that was a gym, bro. That we, show was so cracky. Yeah. I know we got Sock and Bockers one year for Christmas. I feel like we deflated those super quick. Yeah, yeah, we did. Typically. Like punching each other. Yeah, my Be- cousin definitely caught me with a deflated one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you catch somebody running, they floating out the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, child. I just had bad flashbacks. Good times. Good times. Probably the first of my many concussions. <laughs> Oh, it's quite many. possible. Many. I, I think I've had at least five or six. I can't remember. God damn. You're an athlete. athlete. No, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. Well, there, was, there was a car accident. Mm-hmm. Then I fell off the monkey. Remember them dome monkey bars? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I fell right through the middle of it and clipped my head and it hit my head the other Ooh, way back. That was too. Damn. Then I hit my head in the gym. I fell. Sam remember this one. Uh, I got caught in a volleyball net and someone pulled it. I went feet first, hit my head. Then I was playing dodgeball and my shoes was wet and I was trying to run to the line and grab the ball and I slipped and fell and hit my head. Damn. And I those see why you never play sports. Listen, <laughs> I did in middle school and then I got to high school and I was like, y'all asked me to run too much. I ain't doing all this. <laughs> then I had hit my head on the car. Damn. And then sock and bop. And it, no, I don't even count them. And then even last night, I hit my head on the freezer, cut, cut my head open. You can tell the world, watch out for you. Listen, it's, it's, it's just me. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> Bad luck, Chuck. <laughs> it's just me. When I cut my head last night, I was like, really? From trying to pick up food from the freezer. I stood back up too quick. That door was still open. Cracked me right in the middle of my head. <laughs> Tall people problems. Listen, mm-hmm. man. But anywho, 
uh, top listening cities events. Some shout outs. So first, shout out everybody in the fan do Lee. Yes. Ken got that number one spot. Hey, burr, 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 burr. Tech file in the top let three. Let me hold some. Hey, man. Yeah, let me get five, brother. Let me get five, God, man. No, no God is good. <laughs> 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 and we do have a fan duel announcement. So if you're in our fan duel league, we have been running it with 12 people every week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We have upped that number to 15. Mm-hmm. Now, if you win first place, you get 34. Mm-hmm. 34? You get, you, get, you get that Giannis number. Uh, hop in so I can take some more money. <laughs> See, I started talking like that in 91 cents, so I'm hey. just... <laughs> Bro, hey, you, last week I was in third place. Well, this week I was in first. I was so looking I'm at the about top you. scores for like the season, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and Johnny's in first, but I was looking at where you place because you in third for the season. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Five, They take your top no six scores. Four of her top six was first place. Oh, for real? Yeah, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I had good luck to start, man. I need to get it back. See, what happened when I started talking to niggas about what I was doing? <laughs> <laughs> ever keep since, it silent. Ever yeah, since Elliot started asking me questions about what I'm doing, I've been telling them stuff. I ain't been winning. So I'm I'm going back mute. I'm going back silent. You ain't getting nothing from me about what I'm doing and planning. That's a different yeah, you, you in, No, I'm sorry. You in second. You came in first. One, two, three of your top five is in first. I mean, it was a good run. When your I was top, silent. Two of your top three is first place. Your sixth place score was actually the highest score that you had. When I, <laughs> I was in sixth place with the highest score. It was one of those weeks. Over three of your first scores. That's wild. It's one of those weeks. Damn. So, yeah, y'all, make sure y'all sign up. If y'all in the FanDuel pool, make sure that you, you play. We have had full participation every week so far, so we up that number uh, to let more people play. So, make sure y'all do that. Did y'all know there's a, a paid tier of Twitter now? Yes. Mm-hmm. The hell? Yeah, so bro. It's been there for a while. It's called super, monetized Twitter. Or something. Oh, so uh, what, what come with that, though? Oh, they call it Twitter Blue. Oh. Uh, what come with that, oh, though? Oh, that's new, new. I'll you think get, about uh, something else. You can edit your tweets for a short amount of time. Get uh, ad-free articles. can turn on long threads uh, into a more beautiful reading experience. You can, oh, good <laughs> Lord, bro. <laughs> you can what bookmark is- folders, custom navigation, apps, icons, and themes. Uh, you get early access to pinned conversations within your DMs oh, and uploaded, uh, and you can upload longer videos up to ten minutes long. Jeez, the mm. weed, bro! But who want to see? I'm not gonna be on Twitter trying to watch enough for ten minutes. Though. But we we have ten minute movies. Videos. <laughs> we have 10 minute videos. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looked at you. I'm like, y'all got Wait, movies? <laughs> the, the pizza challenge video. Yeah. That's about nine and a half minutes. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Camille was a pawn. Hey, y'all was like, damn, what? Oh, what y'all got movies? What kind of movies? Y'all was pointing at me like this. I ain't mean it like that. I was just saying. You're you like, damn, ain't nobody supposed to know that. This nigga is. No. <laughs> ain't that a bitch? Ain't no Joe Bunn shit. <laughs> this nigga spilling me. <laughs> Anywho. We also have an announcement. The ugly uh, sweater party is back. Ugly sweater party it's five bite. is coming through your way Sunday, December nineteenth at Turner Hall. Early bird tickets are ten bucks, and once those are all sold out, you got to pay the twenty. So get your tickets now. Um, to get in the door, you will have to show either proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test within the last tw- seventy-two hours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can buy those tickets on the Turner Hall website. And let me tell you, I definitely missed not going last year. And this year I'm vaccinated. I'm going to be maxed up. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to be in there for at least an hour. <laughs> 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 I'm a little old. <laughs> I don't like being out too late. No, but make sure y'all come out for mm-hmm. real, for real. It's always a good time, a good time um, when we get together and do this. Because the Milwaukee Black Podcast, let me tell you, we throw a party. We throw a party. All right. Now, that business out the way, listener shout outs from the past week. Number one, uh, Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, Des Moines. Okay. All right, Iowa. I'll ask you, hey, at Des Moines, mm. I'll see y'all out there. Welcome. Who else is out there? <laughs> Number two. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, we got Columbus, Ohio. Columbus. Oh, okay, Columbus. Hey, welcome. Appreciate you. Welcome back. You see Cleveland ain't on here after you was talking crazy hey. about them last Big week. Big shit. Hey, they, they know what it is. They live there. <laughs> Number three, <laughs> Milwaukee, Wisconsin. About time. About time. They Appreciate no, y'all. Though. We love no you. Burns, you know? No, no, no. We love y'all. We still love y'all. You know? They're supposed to be number one. Number four. We got Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. Menominee Falls. Welcome back. Number five. We got North Bergen, New Jersey. Hey, North Bergen. <laughs> Came <laughs> and never left. Right. Bro. Number six. We got Germantown, Wisconsin. 
Hello, Hello neighbor. Hello. Welcome back. Number seven, we have Sussex, Wisconsin. Hello, okay, neighbor. Sussex, welcome. Number eight, we got Kenosha, Wisconsin. Hello, hey. neighbor. Oh, there y'all go. Can't tell. <laughs> y'all was kicking it together. <laughs> Number nine, we have Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hey, Minnesota. Welcome. Oh, you ain't do your thing. It get, it get cold, cold in Minnesota. Minnesota. Damn. It's been a while since they've been on here. But it's been, been a minute, man. <laughs> Forgot the jingle. And number 10, last but not least, Ashburn, Virginia. Hey! <laughs> Ashburn, Virginia, welcome back. That woke him up. Made his whole day. Yeah, now I'm good. See, that's all I needed. That's all I needed. <laughs> international listeners, so as I list off each of the international countries that checked in and listened to Tech File last week, Tim is going to say hello back in that country's native oh, language. Oh, God dang it. Uh, yeah, for sure. I'm saying hi. You should know most of these, so you should be I good. Should. You should be good. <laughs> we have Belgium. Salut. We have France. Bonjour. Bonjour. We have Canada. Bonjour. Hey, yeah, that counts. That the, counts. It's some French in Canada. I'll give you that. Hello. Also, hello. <laughs> <laughs> we have the United Kingdom. Hello, hello governor. governor. We have Germany. Oh. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> hello. I'm drawing a blank today. We have South Korea. South Korea. Was South Korea the long one? Yeah, mm-hmm. that was... Yeah, but then they it. tell you... Then they hear it. was... Uh, oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, watch it. Go check the YouTube. I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely did. We have Ireland. Uh, did he do it? Did he do it? Welcome. What's the real way to say it again? Did do it. Okay, because I be D- wanting to say did he do it all the time. <laughs> Don't go, to, don't go to Ireland. Go to Ireland. Did he do it? Did he do it? Did he, what the fuck? <laughs> Who, who's the crazy? <laughs> <laughs> who's the crazy? <laughs> and last but not least, we have New Zealand. New Zealand. What are they? Kia Oa. Kia Oa. Kia Oa? Yeah, yeah. No. I surely say that shit right. I know I Kia Oa. <laughs> Kia Oa. Y'all. y'all hear it. <laughs> it's spelled like Kia. No, no boys. Oh boy! <laughs> I think I just said some niggas uh, stealing the key key on, the way, on the way here. You said you think you saw them stealing? <laughs> no, because it was the two kids. They had no place and they right next to each other. And then there's one nigga drive one, other nigga drive one, and then they just peeled off in the alley. I like these niggas probably just stole them, motherfuckers. Probably they started racing them. Yeah, they just peeled off in the alley. Only like, these niggas tripping, dog. Yeah, them Kia boys. They're like teenagers too. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. like twelve to like they be young too, and they be driving literally like this. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see over the wheel and shit. Driving like stand-up comedians act like how you drive when they tell the story. <laughs> like, they really be driving, moving the wheel this That's much. Crazy. Like chill out, chill out. Sport fact of the week though. Uh, this one's uh, a bit of a trip, but November seventh, nineteen ninety one, Magic Johnson announced his retirement due to contracting the HIV virus. Mm. That was a wild so time. Thirty wow. years ago, he's been you know he's been living with HIV for thirty years. Like, I was too young to really recognize like the magnitude of it. But like, thinking about it in retrospect, it's like yeah. we yeah. didn't know shit about yeah. HIV then. No, and yeah. like people probably thought like he's gonna be dead within thirty yeah. days. Oh yeah, 30 even, I mean they didn't even want to touch him. Like they didn't uh-huh. know nothing about that virus at that time. Like that was, and now it's not even like the first thing. First, second, third thing you think about when you think of magic, like mm-hmm. I ain't gonna be here. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like, was- <laughs> weird tweets, all his businesses, like ma- magic the is business thriving. Is like yeah. so, yeah, yeah. shout to him. Them theaters, and that changed like how people think about like HIV and AIDS. Mm-hmm. So like, I'm sure he saved countless lives by like that emission. So that's yeah. the interesting thing about sport. Uh, it does have the ability to change actual narr like narratives and help people understand things more which is why you know it's a platform that people should take seriously but mm, it's a little tease we're gonna get there <laughs> anywho y'all ready to start the show for sure we only got a few things to talk about i'm gonna tell you right now it's but only it's a, a doozy few, but it's <laughs> we, we can take our time talking about it. do we want to stay <laughs> this week this past week of sports has been just <laughs> it reminded me of trump presidency it just felt like every day it was just it more was something shit. new and it was worse than the day before. <laughs> like that was a wild part. That's a, a Jay's lyric popped in my head. Every day I wake up, it's a more BS, man. It's... Anywho, let's just get into it. All right, y'all. We're going to start with football. For sure. We're going to start with week nine, which has happened. Um, it's the week of underdogs. We're going to start with the NFC North as we do. <clears throat> 
And we're going to start with the subject that, of course, y'all have been waiting to hear us talk about. Um, that's that the... The Chicago know. Bears got screwed? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, dog. Hey, nigga. You know what? I was at the crib. Like, you why'd you even what? tease that? Because he gonna have to go now. No, no, I can, I can save it. Go ahead. Sure. I was pissed, nigga. <laughs> you know what? Kids, well, I woke the kids up all types of shit. Son, come in the room like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, yo, they bullshit. <laughs> That's what's wrong. I'm mm. actually. <laughs> you know, I don't fuck with y'all like that, but y'all, that call was, that Bro. taunting call was. Shri- this nigga put, dog, <laughs> hip check, this nigga waited for him. He saw him coming, then all of a sudden he bit back. Then he just flicked it too, like, uh. Then he thought it was sweet. <laughs> he didn't know. He like, this nigga, bro. He's waiting on him, bro. <laughs> Fuck them, bro. That was crazy. Dude, Justin Fields played the best game he could possibly play. That was though. the best game. And our coaching was so horrible that game. Yeah. And Justin Fields literally you. like put the team on his back and was like, yo, all right. Like, I need to do my own thing. He was running. He was throwing the ball. He was doing what he's supposed to do. Allen Robertson finally got involved. <laughs> what I say last week? Well, Allen Robertson, as soon as he get involved, we start, man. I'll- I want to just say this because. I wasn't feeling well last night. I went to sleep early, mm-hmm. and I woke up and I saw the Bears lost, and I was Boy. like, "They lost by two. And I was kind of like doing, because you know, when you wake, when you go sleep too early, and you wake up and you be up for like yeah. 30, 45 minutes, whatever it is, before you go back to sleep. And I'm looking and I'm like, "What happened?" <laughs> and I'm like, "The Steelers were up by 15. They tripped off a lead in the fourth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They was moving. And, and then I saw the taunting call, and I was like, "Oh." And that cost because yeah. that, that cost us the, um, the, those three points. And your coach was lighting his ass up. He like, "Bro, I didn't do shit." Yeah. <laughs> like he literally hit him and got up. Yeah, bro, and I was, and just walked off and he but hit then, him again. Justin Fields got hit twice late, bro. I'm no talking call. about super late. Like one hit was like he could have got hurt off of. The other one was like a little tap. But Big Ben got the same exact call. Like the, he got the a series before, and they flagged him ASAP before he even got touched. They sent the flag. I was like, bro, like that's that shit trash, bro. Like I understand Justin Fields the rookie and all that mm-hmm. shit. But Big Ben been around, but just call it like call the game fair, bro. Yeah. Like that's what. I, and I'm not even I'm not gonna make no excuse. Like we should have played better where it shouldn't have came down to a few penalties and stuff oh, like that. The comeback you know, took too late to happen. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not gonna say like that cost us the game, but still, it's like fair is fair, bro. Like you bring up an interesting point. Like, and I don't have the the data to back this up, but it feels like white quarterbacks get. Like the benefit of the doubt when it comes to like late hits and you know mm-hmm. like roughing the quarterback penalty. Like I, I'm because they're not scramblers. Yeah. I'm sure that that's the the party line, but it just feels like you know like you really gotta like fuck up a black quarterback to get <laughs> yeah. a rough in the penalty. Mm-hmm. Roughing the quarterback, he wasn't even scrambling. He was in the pocket, bro. But because of the fact that he is the fuck a scrambler up. and he's a rookie and mm-hmm. he's a rookie, like a lot of. Times, I mean, I'm not saying it's specifically Justin Fields. I just yeah, like, yeah, like no, cross right. like mm-hmm. like Cam never gets rough in the rough in the pass. Cam is Lamar shit because. All of the mobile quarterbacks, mm-hmm. even the Seneca Wallaces and shit like that, because of the fact that they're oh, able so cool. to move See, he and they're <laughs> <laughs> like, he just, pulled that out of his ass. I, got, I mean, still, like these young, these <clears throat> black mobile quarterbacks, mm-hmm. they weren't getting those calls for a while. I think there was some kind, some kind of study that they was doing about it, that too. Like, could be a little off, but because they're considered runners most of the time. Mm-hmm. But does that extend to like the Josh Allens of the world? Nope. Uh, I'm excited to hear this. Appreciate you, Titanium World, checking in. Hey, Mark Dunn, did we cover? No, we did not cover o- Odell. That's it. Odell! Yeah, excited. <laughs> Mark excited, man. <laughs> Mark Odell. excited. Odell! <laughs> but, um, yeah, back to the Bears, man. Like, um... <laughs> Hey, get your hey, shit off. Get your shit off. <laughs> we here. We here. Hey, N- Najee Harris is a grown ass man, bro. Hey, bro. Did you see his um the interview he did with the um Spanish? I didn't mean to watch it, but I did. Dog, dude, funny, bro. He funny as hell. But um, yeah, like um, I'm starting to really not like um Big Ben. Yeah. Just now? Welcome. Hey, what took you so long? <laughs> oh, it took me a bit. I, I, it took him beating us to be like, you know what? Fuck that nigga. <laughs> but no, dude, like the bear, um, the thing I'm most excited about is the comfortability that um, Justin Fields had. Because for the first time, it seems like he was comfortable running the offense. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody believed him. Like, even after the game, they were saying, like, yo, they was like, we just came together. It was like, yo, he our future quarterback. We just go ride him and just do what we got to do. So he, dude, he made some great throws. He did. Like, uh, he, uh, he does questionable things, of course, but he made some really good throws and he kept. He's the reason why we came back. So that makes me feel good too, is knowing that okay, like we down, but we have somebody capable 
of like helping us get back mm-hmm. when we need to. Now, before he became a free agent, I was actually pleading the case for you guys to pick up Odell. Yeah, and I said, remember, and I was like, we ain't gonna pass the ball to him, but shit. But uh, again, having him with Allen Robinson would be gives because yeah. y- y'all defense is fine. Yeah, that's they don't need no doggone Odell. We no, 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 more. Like, <laughs> he coming to Green Bay, but still, he ain't even coming. Y'all get excited for nothing. He ain't coming here. But, but um, you want to bet? How about what we put on it? Odell ain't gonna be a Packer, bro. Let's put, let's put twenty on it. All right, bet. <laughs> you finna lose your whole winnings from the week. <laughs> like, give me a whole hey. fan duel. Hey, niggas get win some money now. Oh, like, that's that, nothing. that is a bet. Hey, if you win a fan duel, let me get that. Hey. Hey. Don't go with that. Mark out here with the Odell stats. Odell! Oh, hey, he waited. He waited. I told you. He was excited. He was like, hold on. I can't even I can't contain myself. Since Odell joined the Browns in twenty nineteen, only sixty two of his targets have been deemed catchable. That ranks sixty second out of sixty two qualifying receivers with at least two hundred targets in the past three seasons. And 21 is only 41%. Mm. Ain't not, not the uh, time Baker, market. Uh-huh. Yeah. Not, Baker call. been sandbagging that man. Like, yeah. Dude, it know, makes no sense. Dude. Watching that video. That. Yeah, that's just sick. But the, the <laughs> thing, like, for real, for real. Like, Odell way <laughs> too good, bro. But I can explain why Baker going to play better without him. You say he is going to play better. Yeah, he already we already know he does. Right, but I can I can I have my own with the pressure that he has to, to I got pass my own the ball reason to him. Why. All right, conspiracy, <laughs> brother. He's he's conspiracy play better without coming him. out. Go ahead, look at the camera, fam. Uh, he's he's play better without him. Uh huh. Why? Why? Why is that? <laughs> because Odell, right? <laughs> Odell's magnitude and his star power this nigga. was so overwhelming. Uh-huh. On the field, Baker had to make sure. He didn't throw it to this motherfucker. So he, in those videos, you can see he even looked at, stared this man down wide open. I don't get it. And didn't throw it to him because. Uh-huh. Because what? Why? Wait, no. Fuck, fuck that because. <laughs> he's going to be better. That's not the point. The point is he's going to be better because of the fact that he doesn't have to fake not throw to Odell. Make it make sense. <laughs> so so what I just no, said. No, no, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. He don't have the pressure no more. No, no. So it's not the pressure. Go. It's not the pressure. It's well, more so it? think of it as. Because Odell was on the field, uh-huh. he had to make it seem as though he couldn't throw to him. So he's eliminating a portion of the field. He's eliminating a receiver. He's eliminating a body. So he's playing 10 on 11. Because Odell's no longer there, he no longer has to fake that he's not wide open no more. He can just throw it to motherfucker. But why? That make him look bad. If he was starting so, Odell, but he everybody's better. already rolling with him. Wait, 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 he plays wait, better wait, without Odell. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know that one. Wait. So let me just... I thought you were gonna go somewhere that had a credible ending. You were almost there. To, uh, you were you were this close mm-hmm. because the reports actually do say that Odell and Baker were friends off the field. Mm-hmm. What it seems like is that as if when they're on the field, you know, sometimes you think like I need to get my guy his touches. Mm-hmm. So you force to him in the wrong situations, and then when he's actually open, you don't throw it. Like the Browns offense. First of all, it's a run first offense. Yes. Mm-hmm. So run heavy, heavy. So Not this week. I mean, well, I mean, no, no it still yeah. was. Yeah. Like, no, 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 I mean, I'm saying coming up because they they run oh, back the oh, well. But there's a run heavy offense, so like they use the play action to set them up all the time, anyway. So mm-hmm. like for for Baker, I think for him to not have the pressure, like let me feed Odell, make sure he gets his touches, even though he misses them when he is open, then he forces to him when he's not open. It helps him to just kind of look at who's open and then play the game. Because one thing I did notice in the Packer game later on with Jordan Love, just to bring it back around here. Is that it looked to me as if he was forcing it to uh, Devontae. Devontae at times. Where I'm like, like it was one play where he tried to hit Devontae on the back shoulder, and I'm like, you just had the dude right yeah, in the was, middle. Yeah. Like it was a I middle crossing that. route. Yeah, like we would have moved that. the chains right there if you would have just passed it to the open man instead of trying to get it to Devontae because mm-hmm. you could clearly see that he was upset throughout mm-hmm. that game. So he was trying to make it right with the number one receiver, and yeah. sometimes that pressure of trying to keep <clears throat> Eagles happy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can mess up your own flow. So, like, instead of like going through his pr- natural progression, it's like yes. he's like getting tunnel vision, and then, yes. yeah. I don't. I would. I would agree with you if that man had more than like two targets a game. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I would agree with that whole thing if he was giving them five, six, seven targets a game. He wasn't. How he was giving them two. How many he was years three. was Odell? There? Three years. Three. Years. Okay. Three years with them. What up, shells? So if oh yeah, what up, shells? That's why I go with what I'm saying because of the fact that he was only seeing one, two, maybe three targets at his level. No, bro, at least give him five. Yeah, at least give him six. Oh, Stephen A. made a point that one game they put up like 45 points and he was throwing that bitch. Mm-hmm. He had two targets. Like he literally in those videos are looking at that man. That's why I feel. Mm-hmm. That's just how I feel. Mm-hmm. 
that because of the fact that he don't have to pretend to not see this man wide open uh-huh. no more, okay. he's going to actually see the entire field now, which is why he plays better without him. Okay. Because he's actually that. surveying instead of cutting his vision in half damn near mm-hmm. because he don't want to get his man the ball. Because there's no reason in hell why that man got that many videos of him being wide the fuck open and he got two targets. Yeah, or right. three targets. Okay, so one thing. <clears throat> Odell, Odell listening right now. Mm-hmm. Why should he come to Green Bay? Obvious, go, obvious reasons, but I want to know. <laughs> why, why, he he why won't have he the pressure now of, now you have Devontae, who's go, he's going to draw his double teams. Mm-hmm. Right? Or you bring that pressure of Devontae drawing the double team over to Odell now, because you can't double team both. Mm-hmm. We still have an absolutely fantastic slot in Randall Cobb or mm-hmm. MVS, who's our number two right now currently. We're still saying Randall Cobb is absolutely fantastic in 2020. He, had, he has been so far. He got hands. Uh, fantastic is an overstatement. Hey, he be, For he what, got we, hands, what we thought he was going to be, I'm giving it to him based on what This is exactly what I, what I thought he would be. I thought, yeah. Well, <laughs> this is I didn't not think, fantastic. I did not think that he was going to be this either. He only had, he only got that many catches. <laughs> he was there when we needed the most, which is what your slot's supposed to be there for. I hear you, but I'm just saying, that's fantastic is an overstatement. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's no, He's been... Okay. Okay. And so, <clears throat> damn, she done fucked up. Train of thought, dog. My bad. I felt like I der- derailed the whole oh, thing. No, like, so, was bear, no, so we it, our way around. the reason why is because <clears throat> it was, it's less pressure for him. Uh-huh. Aaron is more willing. To, granted, he gets tunnel vision at times with Devontae too, but Aaron is a lot more willing to hit the guy that's absolutely wide the fuck open. Yeah. You draw the type of coverage that you're going to get from him, it's going to open up everybody else or the run game. At mm-hmm. the same time. So no matter what, Odell, he may feel like he got pressure or some shit like that, but they come into this offense mm-hmm. and just be sufficient. Like, he ain't really did shit all year, to be fair. Yeah. If he just comes in and be okay. Mm-hmm. Granted, it wouldn't be the, oh my God, but we get him at a discount anyways. Yeah. So it's just a high risk, high reward gamble if you bring him in anyways. If he comes out and be a superstar booming and shit like that because he get comfortable in our offense as the season goes on, because I don't expect him, if he does sign with Green Bay, to get 15 catches for 200 yards and some shit right away. No. Mm-hmm. It'll be a work in progress towards the playoffs. Yeah. So uh, towards the end of the year is when I expect that to really play pay off. Mm-hmm. But right now, because of the fact that we'll pull that star power for him, mm-hmm. I like his fit over here in Green Bay, and it's going to make everybody think, regardless of how good he's doing right away or not. Odell's on the other side. Yeah, makes makes perfect sense to me. And I mean, and my reason to say that Odell's a fit here: one, Odell wants to play for a contender, so that limits his list of teams that he would look at anyways. Mm-hmm. And then we look at the Packers' receiving core you see an opportunity for him to have a big role. Mm-hmm. Not that I'm saying that MVS and Lazard, you know, aren't good. But it's Odell. But it's Odell. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if Odell <coughs> is still New York Odell at this point after mm-hmm. the injuries and everything, but Odell, put him in the slot and have mm-hmm. him run in routes. Like, the, the, the things you can do with Odell in this offense um, should get him excited because one thing that Gucci Man LaFleur, <laughs> uh, our coach, <laughs> <laughs> can do like he schemes up very very well and mark had to point up too like uh he's not in the locker room cancer like from mm-hmm. everything we've heard odell is great in the locker room he's you know it just was not an on-field fit for him in cleveland and sometimes mm-hmm. it just don't work out yeah okay i mean i'll be excited for y'all um, our season no, you over. Wouldn't. Hey, don't lie. Our you ain't season, gotta like the bear season over. Shit, I ain't like we going nowhere. Oh, shit. Y'all boss well. Shit, I think y'all still in the running, bro. Bro, hey, bro. shit, Atlanta's still in the running. Hey, bro, hey, hey. I'm, I'm, I'm content with it, bro. I'm Different high. divisions, fam. I'm all right with it. <laughs> we gonna get them next year. <laughs> Damn, bro. Y'all still got some time. I'm, I'm content with it, bro. Oh. I, I came, I, I came to that realization watching this game because I was just like. Like the the anger and like the disappointment, like I went through a lot a lot of different emotions. Like I went through like, damn, dog. Like, Shell's we- just laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like H A H A H A H A H A H A. No, because I went. I was like, damn, like. Like they put fourteen up on us ASAP. I'm yeah. like, shit. Yeah, Big Ben ain't even that cold. Like, no, but he not. was throw that motherfucker though against us. I'm like, what the fuck? All right. And then it's Claypool. Yeah, that's what it was. But then just saying, like, damn, dog. Like, we really not that good. Mm. You know. And then like again, well, it's a building year. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's a building year. And then it's like, year. damn. Like Justin feels like he is good for him getting better, and better. But it's like. My man's just be out there trying to do, do his best. He, he trying yeah, to learn again. Like he's trying to really do his best, so I respect that. Um, but our co- our coaching staff is trash. Like, yes. if I had the grade coaching, like, F. coaching's like, yeah, a, out, a D. Because <laughs> the only reason I give it a D is because we did come back. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason. Offense was like a B-minus. Justin Fields did his thing. 
Um, our special teams is is, is solid. Oh, good <sighs> lord! Well, I'm, must we, be we, nice. I'm about to say we on the other side. Look at that special. Teams. Oh, especially with our kicker, bro. Like he automatic. Like, y'all block cool. for y'all kickers. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> no, we attempted what a 60, 60, 63? I think. Yeah, sixty three yard kick. And, and, and damn near, he, I mean, he was like he was off, but still, for us to even attempt that shit was like fuck it. But I don't know. I came to the realization that, you know, it's cool. It's a rebuilding year for us. We're going to get it together. And I think that's um, fine for y'all. Yeah, and I'm cool with that. Like, I'm all right. It sucks. But, once yeah, once we get a new regime in, um, get a new. And that shit wasn't that funny, my nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, Laugh a little too hard, my nigga. This your first time here, nigga. Welcome, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. You still a guest, motherfucker. Don't be just hopping up in here. Ha ha, nigga. Shit ain't that funny. This what happened, nigga, when you become, become part of the show. <laughs> Lucky I don't know your full name, nigga. Is that your full name, nigga? I'll say your full name, nigga, over oh, oh, here. <laughs> nigga. But yeah. But I'm um, here, yeah, man. <laughs> Sorry, man. But I'll be happy because, you know, for y'all Packers fans, man. I don't believe you after that I'll rant. The ha ha rant made me feel a little I mean, because it's Odell. Like, of course I'm a root for Odell. I'm like, oh, I'm like, so you, oh, so you are a Packer fan? I'm not a Packer fan, <laughs> Yeah. Right back I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I want to see him. I want to. I want to see him do well. Mm. I don't know, bro, because it's like it's a pickle, bro. Yeah. Cause, <laughs> hey, because my nigga A Rod Wallen, bro. So it's just like he he doing can ML. We, can, we, can we talk about? This? Yeah, let's, sure. go, let's as, go. As <laughs> Eric is wearing the, the MLK Hawks, uh, that's, that's that shit fire. Y'all know it's like that. Hoodie. This was on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I'm already. I figured, I figured. Aaron Rodgers. Oh, by the way, he has a portrait of MLK in his living room. <laughs> no, I was about to say, get the fuck out of here. My bro. nigga was inspired, bro. That's all. <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. So, so, how about them Lakers? I told you. Oh, yeah, we get there. Don't worry. <laughs> we going to get there, boss. We definitely going to get there. <laughs> okay, so. Hey, Melo. Kansas City. Hey, Melo. Kansas City Chiefs defeated the Green Bay Packers 13 to 7, which is a score I was shocked. Back. Yeah, their defense. They was trying, bro. Listen, <laughs> one thing I learned from this game is that the defense is legit. Injuries, regardless. The, the defense for the Packers is it's nice. <laughs> Tim don't even know to do with his hands. Hey, right I, I did. I did. <laughs> he gonna hit the He gonna bring the middle oh, finger back out. Like, he not even in the camera. All oh, you saw was James Wilson and shit. Like, <laughs> I've been saying the defense they they bend don't break, bro. For real, no. for real. <laughs> this game was Jordan's love. Jordan loves first NFL start mm-hmm. because Aaron Rodgers was placed into NFL's. COVID-19 protocols. Lying ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's your boy. The <laughs> earliest that that man can return would be Saturday. This Saturday, um, after missing the Kansas City game. We found out that Aaron Rodgers is actually unvaccinated. Although, back in August, when he was asked, are you vaccinated? Specifically. He, that was the question. The, the question... The question was, are you vaccinated? And he said, Indeed. (laughs) (laughs) You bet I am. (laughs) You betcha. I sure am immunized. Immunized. Yeah, I see you with the wordplay and shit. Yeah, I'm immunized. Like, bro. So he sounds like a cheating husband. Like, are you married? (laughs) No, I'm not married. I'm how would you not say (laughs) you got a ring on? Are you single? Yeah, I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, come on, man. So, he then went on the Pat McAfee show on Friday. He was also in there today. But on I Friday. I fuck with Pat McAfee, though. On, I do. I really fuck I with do. Pat I McAfee. Fuck with on Friday, <laughs> that man was on one. He came out. The first thing he said was, I did not lie, which I knew he mm-hmm. would say. So, just give me the give me a second. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because one of my yeah. biggest pet peeves. <laughs> Stop with the cap, sir. <laughs> is liars. I do not like lying. Oh. And people try to make, like, they try to talk your way out of making you think they're not lying when they're lying. Listen, I'm looking at the camera for this. The definition of a lie is very, very simple. Mm -hmm. It is saying something meant to deceive someone else. And that's what he did. That does not mean that you have to tell something completely untrue. You can do a half-truth and still be lying because you're deceiving the person. When you were asked the question, (laughs) are you vaccinated? You should not have said, yes, I'm immunized. You should be like, no. I'm immunized. <laughs> that would have been the truth. Because it don't matter what come after. Yeah, yeah is answering in yeah, the affirmative yeah. to the question that was asked. Thank you. And the lie detector says that, that was, was a lie. lie. <laughs> <laughs> now Aaron did come out today and gave a fake. Well, I won't say a fake. A half apology where he said, if, if, "What I said." If you feel like I misled you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. 
So you ain't even sorry for misleading exactly. people. You're no. sorry if somebody people felt, felt like that you. way. Oh, I hate that too. He like that's on y'all. I ain't tell y'all for that. Way. <laughs> that is not a real <clears throat> apology. I just want to say that. Too. I mean, y'all could have asked me more questions. He also said I that. I would have elaborated if you asked. That's what he did say. <laughs> I but they asked you a question that you answered. <laughs> My man said I would have elaborated. Like, if you would have asked me, I would have. I would have told you. Screw if you just would have said I'm immunized, then yeah, that might have that might have elicited. First of all, immunizing. Uh, Vaccinate means the same exact thing. Like j- just because you make a distinction doesn't mean that now that's the universal definition of it. Like uh-huh. you look at the definition of immunization. Let, like it's let me look it up. Mm-hmm. Protecting he, yourself against a like disease. The, I believe the words are vaccination. Mm-hmm. Like vaccination is part of the definition for immunization. immunization but mm-hmm. immunization doesn't necessarily mean vaccinated, right? Immunized oh. means make a person Ooh, or animal immune to infection, typically by inoculation. The vaccine, typically by, okay. The vaccine I is used you. to immunize children against measles. That's in the okay. sentence. Okay. Right. Okay. He threw so, a sentence out there for us. So he attempted to get the whatever procedure that he did approved yes. by the NFL. But then he did it anonymously. Anon- <laughs> I can't say that word. Anonymous. Say there you go. Hey. Everybody um, got words they can't say. I can't yeah, say. Yeah, that's alum- one of my words. Alum- I can't say. Alum- 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 okay. That's tongue twister. They say <laughs> it differently in, uh, huh? in the UK. They say who? They say real crazy in the UK. Aluminum? Mm hmm. Oh, now I gotta hear him say it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so he, but he did it, um, and they. They said no. Yeah, they said no. So then, <clears throat> knowing that they said no. Yeah, you either should have went out or you should have just said no. Like, I. And, I then, don't know, and then he said the reason that he didn't get the vaccination was because he's allergic to. Yeah, whatever is in Something it. that's in the Two Moderna and the. Uh, the uh, the Pfizer, the Pfizer, mm-hmm. and which that, is bullshit. And then he had some concerns about the Johnson and Johnson infection, or not a, the Johnson and Johnson vaccination. Also bullshit <laughs> because uh, of the blood clots. Although that only affected six people, six women early on. Uh-huh. Uh, between the eight, well, first of all, it was women. It, uh, it became more a little bit later, but okay. it, was, it was early on. It was six women, and so. <laughs> and then he said that he didn't want to take the vaccination because he didn't want to become sterile. Although, as Bullshit. Kareem <laughs> Abdul-Jabbar pointed out in his beautifully written article, um, actually having COVID leaves you more at risk of being sterile than the vaccination does. Yeah. So, hey, there is that. My whole issue with this motherfucker was mm-hmm. the fact that he was parading the gallivant like he was. That's because the he was, issue. Because he was being a coward. <clears throat> That's what it comes down to. He was scared to tell people that he was unvaccinated because he did not want the smoke that came He didn't want none of it. None of them, th- and then f- turn around and be like, "I'm not some flat earther or anti-vaxer." Sorry. What? What you, what you trying to play? Aluminium. What the fuck? What is what ah! word is that? That's did aluminum you, in uh in the UK, and British and English. This is like, and, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no but, but the thing that pissed me off was the fact that he was parading around. So now, that, yeah, sure, it's your own decision. That's what the fuck you want to do. But uh-huh. the issue with it is that whatever the fuck you thought you was doing didn't work. Yeah. Because you caught the shit. And then who's to say that you wasn't at the party shooting cold around the John Wick? With the pooch, yeah. But the thing too, he was I, 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 I do want to point hey, out the fact. Nigga, he was, he was, he was <laughs> in the <laughs> extended <laughs> clip. He was a real character, bro. He had the extended clip mean, full it, of COVID, he bro. He was the deadliest person in that room. He was, bro. <laughs> Lord Jesus. I mean, kicking it. D- t- but just so that we're we're being fair here, okay. vaccination does not mean you won't catch it either. Exactly. This is true. Yeah, we understand that. And I'm glad. I'm glad we do because there are people who still be like, oh, what's the point of getting it? We know. We understand that. We get it, but other motherfuckers. Because like everything, everything that he said was basically giving me, you can't tell me what to do. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the day, like whether you're immunized or vaccinated <laughs> or unvaccinated, or whatever, like the NFL classified you as an unvaccinated player, which means that you had to follow certain guidelines, protocols, and, procedures. and shit. Uh huh. And like all this stuff that you did was that so that you didn't have to follow that procedure because yep. yeah. uh, in your eyes you're vaccinated, but you're not. It's one part according of According to three. the people that. Like the NFL and the NFLPA who represent you mm-hmm. came to this agreement. You said cool. So they're not forcing you to get the vaccination. Like you did whatever you felt was best for your body. Yeah, that's right. Because cousins. making that that's choice, our choice. Yeah. making that choice means that you are then classified as an unvaccinated, unvaccinated player. player. What you knew you have to follow the protocols that they have in place for unvaccinated players. Mm-hmm. You might think that it's bullshit. You might think that it's scientifically unsound. You might think that it's unfair to unvaccinated players. Mm-hmm. All that shit aside, you knew. Yeah, you knew. This is still what you have to do. So like, <laughs> like you asking for basically like uh, preferential treatment, which I mean I get. Like you're the quarterback of the Green Bay Packers. Like you feel like can't nobody tell you no. Yes, yeah, Shells. He was on that chopper singing that video. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. All right, mm-hmm. but two things. Um, one. No, he's talking about the coach. Um, 
We should get Oh with the vid <laughs> He was letting that chop Hell yeah bro the Most vid. dangerous uh, man in the room bro <laughs> uh, We need Somebody need to reach out To um, him and Kyrie And let them um, Do a podcast together. No, <laughs> no, 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 no Kyrie no. good Ky- I'll tell you about, what I respect about, Kyrie A whole lot more Than I respect yeah. Aaron Rodgers That man was running at he, least, he was At least Kyrie said I don't want to get vaccinated yeah. I'm not getting vaccinated and, and then he said The reasons why he wasn't mm-hmm. And he left that be mm-hmm. Meanwhile Aaron wanted to make people Believe he was vaccinated The whole yeah. time Because he didn't want that smoke uh huh exactly. okay Kyrie got. and then number two this is your quarterback right mm-hmm. yes what how how <laughs> what, how does that make y'all feel that this is the leader of your team he go y'all he, he can win y'all the super bowl this year listen Aaron, that dumb motherfucker could win us a bowl bro you said who that dumb motherfucker could win us a bowl how do y'all feel about your boy that dumb motherfucker could win us a bowl but i leave it at that that's how you feel about him no for me it's um Tatonia world, so I guess maybe you're willing to say that all the ex Packers who talked bad about him maybe knew something. That has come up a lot. But here's the thing with that. He been a asshole though, right? Everything uh-huh. that he Everything. showed in that yeah. interview was comment to me. Like yeah. he's, he's, he's always come off as being like he's the smartest dude in the room. Mm-hmm. He's always come off being stubborn. He's uh-huh. always come off being petty. He's always defensive. These are all things I already knew about Aaron Rodgers. It was just now it was in a situation where I was actually in disagreement with him. And normally For I once. agree with him. <clears throat> I had a disagree with g- disagreement with him about the shit over the off season, and this interview felt exactly like <laughs> him, like like he concocted this story that was kind of like he felt was bulletproof that explained away everything that you know didn't directly address like what the reports were, but like kind of yeah. So I'm with you. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like it's, it's, it was like I didn't believe him then. It's like yeah, of course you like leaked it that you were unhappy because like uh-huh. you were trying to get them to either do what you want or get the fuck out of here. And it's like that's fine, but like don't come and lie to me in my face. Like hey, y'all, he know y'all love him. Wait to piggyback off y'all, of that, he's Aaron Rodgers. If the Packers also knew this shit they because all the information from. was all the way out there, right? They both conspired. Maybe this was part of his contingency plan when he came back. They're like, hey, listen, we'll let you do what the fuck you want to do around this bitch. Oh. You ain't have to I adhere mean, to these rules. They said that he did mask up in the meeting rooms. The only place that he didn't do it was when he went to talk to the media, which the NFL. I mean, that sounds convenient. Yes, and all the because uh, he never did it on the sideline either. He didn't because again, oh, that's that's in, that's in public view too, mm-hmm. and it seemed like anything most public view. He wanted to make it seem as if he was unvaccinated, but the team was aware of his status being vaccinated. Mm-hmm. I did see that, Mark. Mm-hmm. I did see that about Devin, uh, Dalvin Cook. We gonna talk about that after Aaron Rodgers, though. Good lord! <clears throat> but yeah, like it, that's all that came on to me. Like, and execs around the league were upset with it. They had the NFL doing investigations. The NFL sent out a memo today, like. Reminder, <laughs> so you know, if you are unvaccinated, we expect you to wear a mask. So I expect to see Aaron Rodgers when he returns wearing a mask. <laughs> freaking mask on, man. Nothing. He, he's going to be raw dog in the air again. Because <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Oh raw dog. God damn, bro. Monday Night Raw on this motherfucker. Shoot. <laughs> I mean, th- we all vaccinated, and ha- three of us wearing a mask. Yeah, yeah y'all know I brought dog. Raw raw dog king out here. <laughs> Woo! Hey, be careful, brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> be safe, my friend. Hey, bro. <laughs> careful out in these streets. Woo! Woo! But yeah. That's Jordan scary. Love had his first start. There were some people trying to make sweeping generalizations about his game. We are not naming the episode Raw Dog King. Hey, no. there you go. Bro. It, it, Monday night, it could be raw. Just, <laughs> just where the raw law go. Listen. <laughs> Bro, this is a man to get us out the place so goddamn fast. Hey, man, fuck him. Okay. Jordan Love, uh-huh. first start. There yep. were people trying to say he trashed. There were people trying to say he was good. Mm. In my opinion, they didn't have a great game plan for him. Don't you like that? <laughs> <laughs> but no I didn't like the game plan for, for Jordan Love most of the game Kansas City just kept blitzing that kid Dog, dude. Dude. That, he was blitzing it. That was a damn Madden bl- blitzing his ass <laughs> I'm like bro right before they did that motherfucking fire blitz bro I'm like dog it's nine in the fucking box bro. I hope we got a, a quick slant coming or something nope five, no, five, bro, it was just a, five step drop <laughs> God, I mean, he came up the middle, too. Dog. Jordan's like, what the fuck? The first thing <laughs> called, no, no max protect, hey. no quick hits. Hey. Oh, but that's the difference. Y'all say how we feel, motherfucker. But that's the difference. That's how my I boy Justin feels. So, so I'm, I'm happy after the game. LaFleur did say, he, I called a bad game. Yes. I should have adjusted quicker because. And he was in his head. He was like he didn't let him play his game either. Mm. Like It was like he was in his head. Literally, whenever he had a chance to be in it, he was in his head. Because he was running for his life. Yeah. I got two things. One, <laughs> I'm going to start with the first thing. 
second. Um, <laughs> Troy Aikman, he was like overly critical to be like, it, bro. He, he don't like, fuck after, with the Packers. After, but even still, hey, like, I, I, don't bug me throwing. Like he was like comparing be, him to Aaron Rodgers, and it's like, yeah, of course the dude making his first start isn't going to look like Aaron Rodgers can, in the offense. Like, can we compare him to Aaron Rodgers' first start <laughs> or Aaron Rodgers' first appearance? Because that that's was, what I'm talking about. Because it was not right. good. Um, and didn't he get hurt? Yeah, he broke his foot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I remember people like Packers fans were tripping and like, oh my god, we just yeah. drafted a bus and he's we lose garbage the bar for and this shit. right? Like, get him out of here. Doing what normal Packer fans do. Yeah. Um. But then the other thing is, like, it also illuminates, like, how much, and I'm not saying, like, LaFleur is the bad coach by any measure, he's, he's but it's, coach. like, you see how much, like, Aaron can, like, affect the game mm-hmm. at the line of scrimmage. Because so he's like, one of the mm-hmm. greatest quarterbacks of all time. Exactly. So, like, he can, like, he can look at, you know, like, first of all, they're not going to blitz they high. Would, they would Ooh, never. Ever. Ever. <laughs> but at the same time, like, if he reads something in defense, like, he can change the play at the line. He can change the, the cover, uh, the protection. Like, he can mm-hmm. do whatever he needs to do to get people in the right position to get a successful play, regardless of what's called in. Like, Jordan Love just had to run with whatever, whatever was called. Because he ain't got that clout yet. The mm-hmm. protection the protection calls and the blitz and calling out the blitz, it's usually if it's not the quarterback the center calls him out to because he's part of the, like, the... They didn't have enough bodies but, to pick um, him up anyway. But then again, the, no, they didn't. <laughs> but I'm like, so that's why I said, like like you were saying, what's most valuable with Aaron is the, because of the fact that he can point those out and shift the line to the left or pick up that back end blitz. It also accounts for cats like Aaron Jones as well. Like, hey, I need you to pick this up too, not just the offensive lineman. Or mm-hmm. shift that tight end to the left because, you know, he's dragging this way, doing a, uh, a, a fade. Mm-hmm. But that's what I'm saying. Like, Aaron Rodgers covers up so much that could be, like, deficient in offensive play calling because right. it's like, well, the play was successful. Like, we don't know what the fuck got called. Like, it could have mm-hmm. been, like, a run right into, like, you yeah. know, two defenders, like, for all we know. But he got out of play or he shifted the coverage. So, I mean, shifted the protection. Mm-hmm. So, it was a successful play. What were you, what, as Packer fans, what were you expecting out of Jordan Love? What I got. What I, pretty okay. much what I got. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. I, didn't, I expected an up-and-down <clears throat> performance. That's mm-hmm. what he gave me. He showed flashes at times, and other times it's like, you can't even complete this this throw right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he just showed um, he's not ready. He's not really ready. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm. See, Mark out here giving us the details uh, on, the fly, the on the breaking news. Per he Evan <laughs> Macy, the Packers, do, the Packers do not have interest in signing. <laughs> do or the Packers have. do have interest in signing Odell Beckham Jr., but he is considering all of his options. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, as he should. <laughs> until he get a call from Devon or from from Tay, right, like, hey, right. listen, it better not be Eric calling. <laughs> <laughs> not this time, <laughs> right? You got to let somebody so, else represent. Mark Damn, has, he would have waited another week. Like, right. yeah. Mark does have something he put up here. That I want to use this to end the Packer conversation. I don't know why the playlist keeps stopping after a song play. It's supposed to just keep playing. But he said at fault for the loss. He gave his order of what, you know, he thinks cost the Packers in this game. But mm-hmm. what do y'all think was the biggest problem for the Packers against the Chiefs on Sunday? The special offensive team. line and then special teams. You I say guess. offensive line first? No, I say special teams, teams first. first. Yes. Yeah, special, special teams, teams first. Special teams cost them Nine points. Yeah. They could have won. Because they missed two field goals. Mm-hmm. And then muffed that punt. they muffed the punt, which mm-hmm. led to another field goal for uh-huh. Kansas, Kansas City. City. Yep. So yep. that's the difference in the game right And there. then with the, who was that for? Like, was it was Rogers. Mason that fault? Bro, oh, no. Damn body. For the kids, Wait, for actually, the, kids? Yeah. The, the, the holder, holder. wasn't turning the, the ball. But he, that was his first time doing that, though, no, right? No, the, the snapper was a Oh, it was a snapper. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, okay. The okay. Sna- so I think Buck, one of the announcers was saying, like, that's kind of on the snapper, too, because, mm-hmm. like, they know how many re- revolutions the ball needs to make to get to the oh, holder so that they can get it they down. They can turn and, it right. And then the hold, okay. and the second kick, the holder had to, like, lace it almost right. But, but he, he bobbled it, so he was just trying to get it down. So I understand why high. he didn't have time to spin it. So okay. it, the special team just wasn't that special. Okay. And what was funny was that uh, LaFleur actually went to the special team's coach and said, take Rodgers out. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want him returning no punts no more. <laughs> put someone else, put someone else in, uh-huh. and the special teams coach was like, "No, nah, we sticking with him." And then mm-hmm. he actually returned like a fifteen yard. Punt. I mean, he should still lose his job, but <laughs> at least for a week. Like you need to be in the lab. You need for to a learn. Is so Malik mm-hmm. Taylor still on the roster? Yeah, it was funny. Trevor Davis, you remember him from the Packer heydays? Mm-hmm. Another uh, guy who got ran out of town for not being able to really handle punt returns. He tweeted during that game and just said, "Hey." Pump returns is hard. <laughs> and I was like, you would know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, any other Packer thoughts? Um, Rogers should be back on Saturday, which we would definitely need because we are facing the Seahawks and Russ is back. Hey, yeah, he said, let's work. Burr, 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 burr. This man. That's where Odell needs to go. He bullshit. Go, go to Seattle. <laughs> Honestly, that's another option. Mm-hmm. That should be his option to me. 
I don't think you should go to Seattle. Yeah, you want that because I, I want twenty dollars. I need. <laughs> 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 hey, O'Neal, you listening? Go Russell. To answer both of y'all questions, um, this game weirdly makes me more confident about like how successful they'll be the rest of the season. Same. Like, okay. if Aaron Rodgers is the difference between like that game and like what we've seen, like, and it was only a six point loss. Yeah, like it. The Packers are fine. Yeah. And to your question about like how would I feel if they won the title, like. Mm-hmm. There's like there've been shitty people on teams that I've rooted for before, and I, you know, like I can differentiate between like rooting for the person and rooting for the, the team. team. So, okay. yeah, I wouldn't be like this championship is tainted. Like, <laughs> no, like, it's good. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, hey, we won. Fuck Aaron Rodgers. Like, like, I, got, I, that, I probably won't ever me. wear that Aaron Rodgers jersey. I have like it's just gonna sit in my closet next to that Favre one I have, where I'm like, oh, guess I shouldn't have paid money for these. But hey, I got my bar star jersey. Is so corny. Thank uh, you, Mark. You said who? Russ is so Hey, fun. bro, relax. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, we was, on, we was on the same board well, at first, bro. But come on. Russ wasn't cold. Um, but then with him being 40, you got to do with him being on the field. Well, no, like, so, like, I saw a tweet. Like, they were like, who's the most cringeworthy uh, NFL star and why is it Russell Wilson? I'm like, that's disrespectful to J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt is a force. I don't really I don't know. Look at it. I, yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't look don't, at JJ Watt enough. JJ Watt, like, I, like he do everything to for people to be like, oh my god, he's so. Oh really? Oh fuck. So me. great. Uh-huh. He's such a hard worker. He's such a you know. He gets it. I'm like, <laughs> like bro, be human. But, uh, <laughs> but other <laughs> where in the NFC North, the Lions had a bye week, and then you had the. Hey, they didn't lose. They did not. The winner. And undefeated then, week. And then you had the uh, Ravens defeat the Vikings, 34 to 31. Thank you, Ooh, bro, Baltimore. They just keep losing late, bro. Thank you, Baltimore. I appreciate that. Yeah, man, that was Minnesota like, beat themselves. They just keep losing late, yeah. bro. They keep giving it away late. Hell. <laughs> but yeah. week nine also saw a lot of upsets. You had the Giants beat the Raiders. You had the Falcons beat the Saints. Mm-hmm. You had the Browns beat the the Bengals. You mm-hmm. had the smack the Bengals like damn. You had the Broncos beat the Cowboys, <laughs> and like I said Bro. last week, there was no way you that they what? were going undefeated the rest of the year. I tweeted this. It's my fault. I knew this was coming. He set that up. It's uh, my he fault. Did. Like he set it up so that he could come back and be like. <laughs> I knew them niggas wasn't shit, no, 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 but it's, no. it's my fault. No, it's my fault. It is. It's real Skip Bayless. I, 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 I never bet on these motherfuckers. I never bet on these motherfuckers. And the one time I do, an X is an X for a reason. They prove you wrong. I used to love the Cowboys. That's why I was like, what? I used to love the Cowboys. <laughs> and it's been Deion we Sanders. They was my shit. Prime time. But they, <laughs> they tell you why every time y'all ain't together no more. Offensive coordinator is why the Vikings lost, you said, by the way. Yeah, Dwayne. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> what I'm up, Dwayne? Vikings fan, our resident Vikings fan. Congrats, Congrats to you again, too, brother. Congrats, brother. Congrats, bro. So it's a good time. Um, But yeah, but I shouldn't have bet on these motherfuckers. I don't know why you. I, I don't know why either. I've, I've been trying to tell you, know, you all season, any given Sunday, anything can happen on any Sunday. I need to relax on them Cowboys. I t- you <laughs> don't want to be going in for no reason. No, 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 no. no I'm reason, not giving them the Benny no goddamn mo. Hey, bro. I need to relax. I'm trying to put some faith in these motherfuckers at all. Any faith. I you, had, you was doing I more than I that. Had, like, bro. Last week, you were actually capping for I, the That's Cowboys. why it was bro. so wrong. It didn't make sense, though. We I like, what are you doing? It was so like, wrong. What are you doing right now, bro? So wrong. It will never happen again. Hey, bro. You was like I said, he said it. It will never like, happen it again. It made no sense. If they were undefeated, then he was right. Yeah. If they lost, then he could be like, see, I knew these niggas wanted shit. You're thinking too deep into it. It really was a, I really shouldn't have bet on these niggas. <laughs> I felt that in my bones. I really shouldn't. Have. Why did I do that shit? That's funny. I was wrong. Hey, the Jacksonville game though. I won't. Ha- hey, that was the one I hey, wasn't expecting. Hey, Jacksonville out there. Josh Allen was hooping, bro. <laughs> hooping. That was. <laughs> a- <laughs> Josh hooping. Allen with Josh Allen ass, bro. Yeah, I, yeah. I Josh seen Allen that. was balling. I didn't know what was going on when it was. So I was like, what the? F- what the he fuck said Josh that? Allen. Said Josh Allen. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what is going is on? Here? Is the Matrix? Exactly. Trying to turn the volume up. Like, did I exactly. Like, what? It's two of them out there? Like, no, I remember going through it and the score came by. I'm like, wait. <laughs> that's the score? I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what That was a gross doing? score. Nine to six was the final score. Yeah, that's an MLB score, bro. Like, Jacksonville, Josh Allen was on Josh Allen ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to run. Them motherfuckers were running with him, bro. He strip sacked him. No, he sacked him, made, picked up a fumble, and picked him off. Mm-hmm. Urban Meyer just happy to win. You know, that, that take heat off of him. Like, bro, he was terrorizing that man all game. Like, what happened? Josh Allen got me. They look at you like you crazy. They know, hey, they know who Josh Allen is now. He don't know? 
Jacksonville, they actually tweeted out after the game. Uh, they you know photoshopped his face on Michael Jordan. And I took that personally. <laughs> I was like, there's That's only funny. one Josh Allen. But I he, took that He's personally. supposed to be a monster, though. Like, it, He's supposed see? to grow into that. Yeah, he looked, he looked that good. That was a great game. Another upset was Titans beating the Rams. Yeah, that was unexpected. Derrick Henry. And AP got a, uh, all day got a touchdown. He had like 25. Yeah, he got a touchdown. I, I'll leave it at that. He got a touchdown. <laughs> I was. I was. for the kid on this. We were talking about that. He was for the kid on this performance. I gave him a touchdown, bro. I was like, you know what? He was for the kid all over his performance. Put that nigga out of his earnest. I'm happy for my man's touchdown, bro. That's all. Prosper, he, he, brother. He ain't my man. He's still a Viking in my head, so I don't really care about the man. No offense, Dwayne. But I don't care about AP. <laughs> AP, AD, whatever you want to call him, fam. All day. Damn. That's what he All right. All right. So, uh, the Phil- oh, wait, sorry. Uh, Jordan Love, I played uh, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. Yes, he did. Mm. Outside of interception. But, hey. That pick, he was just, that was a good pick, bro. Like, I mean, it was a bad It was a bad I mean, throw, but yeah. Adams had Pat, Mah- Pat Mahomes threw one to Kevin King. He just dropped it. But, <laughs> per use. I do want to say Kevin King had a good game. Yeah. I think uh, two in a row, we, uh, people crap on him a lot. We do it on this show from time to time, but I want to mm-hmm. give him credit where he actually has a good game, and he had a good game this past week. Let's talk some basketball. Um, basketball. Hoops. Now we talking about hooping. Um, Until so, this man get traded, I'm not saying his name no more. So he number 25 on Philly. Who that? <laughs> redacted. Oh, he's he redacted about now? Redacted. Uh, redacted. So, so I'm tired of talking about him. Like, ain't shit moving. Yes. The 76ers. It's the same shit. I mean, we got a little, a little different news. The 76ers started finding him again <laughs> after he missed Thursday night's <laughs> game last week. And then they plan to keep finding him until he cooperated with the team physicians on mental health shit. because he's been seeing mental health professionals but not keeping the team informed on what was going on, which to me was kind of a slippery slope a little bit because it's like... I was going to say that's dangerous because like if somebody... like I I don't want to cast aspersions to number 25, but I also think it's kind of convenient that he's going through like a mental health crisis when he also doesn't want to play. So it's like I can get why you would be dubious about like the validity of what he's going through but say somebody is going through something very serious and they need to consult somebody for their mental health Mm -hmm. like i don't think your employer should have access to your mental health providers like if you want to share that great but like i don't think you should be required to and i don't think your money should be withheld because you choose not to Hmm. yeah i mean like it it's a slippery slope we're coming back to dalvin i put him after some other unfortunate news we're going to Group all the bad news. Hey, he, he needs to be a uh, correspondent or something. <laughs> hey. Like he could be our, uh, uh, oh, our we'll talk, yeah, stat boy on. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey fam, Mark, we, we Mark, got we got a we yeah, got an unpaid, <laughs> unpaid, <laughs> yeah. yeah. un- unpaid job for you, fam. We got an unpaid job for you. Internship. Hey, emphasis on unpaid. <laughs> emphasis. <laughs> emphasis. We can emphasis. give you. We can give you free gear. We'll, we'll play yeah. you in clout. <laughs> we'll pay you in clout. Yeah, fam. We'll, yeah, man. But um. Yeah, so, <laughs> but what ended up happening since I had wrote the rundown, uh, apparently, then he came back and was like, hey, y'all, 76ers, hey, hey, let me talk to one of y'all team doctors. I got you. I'll do it. I'll this do it. dude, bro. Hey, come to that money, bro. He like, you know what? He he, he, he acting up real quick, like, yo, you know what? Or somebody like, I don't know, bro. Like like you said, it's a slippery slope. It is. So, the, the doctors that he was going to... Were not the ones that the they team weren't team. Provided? They weren't team doctors. They were NBA PA doctors. So. Okay, okay, okay. I feel, I just feel like he's played this entirely wrong the entire time, <laughs> and Absolutely. it seems like it's him going rogue. Like it's not like I can't um, again. I can't imagine that. Uh, what's the dude's name? Rich Paul. Thank you. Uh, I can't imagine that this is his like game you plan. know this was his game plan out Absolutely the game. Not. Like this is what we're gonna do because at every turn like the the team is like it was a misstep. Yeah. And he we don't can take like your him. money. So yeah. like, and then he's like, "Okay, fine, I'll do it." So it's like, just come back, play, play shitty if you want to. Like, it don't really matter. Like, they can't find you. Like, if you're there, and like force their hand. Like, basically do what James Harden did. Like, it was shit. It was trash. Like, I don't, <laughs> uh-huh. I don't like it. But at the same time, it's like you have the blueprint. Like, I don't know why you're trying to do all these things to not show up yeah. and not go to work. And it's like, yeah, of course they're gonna take your money. Then. Like, but why? Uh, I don't understand his thinking. Like, shouldn't. Like, shouldn't your main focus be like, okay, I want to get out of Philly? They've been saying all this. They've been saying all this BS about me. My my my, my trade value is low. Like, let me just come out and ball. Let me just come out and who? Let me prove to y'all that I'm the player and that somebody like somebody that you would actually want on your team. <coughs> I just think that's a risky like, proposition. Room temperature. See, if it was a little colder, <laughs> you wouldn't be doing all that choking. 
You should put my arms up like I'm a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> that shit do not work at all. <laughs> you would still die. Put your arms up. Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I say this because it's he dealing with Daryl Morey. So if he comes out in balls, then it's like, I'm well, fuck it, we ain't oh, gonna trade him, him right? Up. So it's okay. like he's trying to make it as uncomfortable as possible. So mm-hmm. like, I get what he's trying to do. It's just the way that he's doing it doesn't make sense. Okay, or at least it's, it's not gonna work essentially because again he's dealing with Daryl Morey and he's yeah. just like, okay, well, oh the Packers got fined three hundred stacks. Yep. Good. Because they wasn't doing what the fuck they were supposed to. They was letting Aaron run around and do whatever the fuck he wants to do because that's <laughs> what, part of his plan to come back and do whatever the fuck he want to do. And then Hell Roger, yeah, they seen that shit. And then Rodgers nice. and Lazard both got fined of a little bit over fourteen thousand individually as well for the party. I don't know. They still got fined because what the NFL started doing is they had a whole ass investigation. They was checking our training tapes. They was checking our practice facility tapes. They was checking the wet room, uh, weight room tapes. They was checking. <laughs> <laughs> the wet room. Hey, listen, I don't know I don't nothing about that. Yeah, but <laughs> anywhere these motherfuckers was had cameras at, they checked all <laughs> of that shit, and they wanted to check a certain time frame to see when this motherfucker was walking around with or without a mask. They didn't even have to check that hard. He wasn't wearing a mask during the media interviews. Just like, go right after the damn game. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> hey, but he out here wilding, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he can't. Who can't ball? Who you talking about? Oh, Ben Simmons. Mm. Oh no, bro. You can't. Oh. I mean, to I think, offense. Uh, I mean, he, he ain't got no. Well, I mean, also, we can't say he a, he a bad player. Though. No, no, no. We're not saying that. He we can't say he can't ball. But I think that he's already shown like what he like. That's the other thing. Like if he comes out and plays good for a month, like shooting threes and all that other stuff. Like uh-huh. is it going to change like what you've seen the last five years or however long? That's you've been not what you expect. Like, it's a mentality anyway. shift that he needs. Because right that's now, part of, I mean, to grow up, but, but if you look at his scout on board in college, the things that we're seeing now with personality, they were red flags. Mm-hmm. Distant, yeah. lazy, didn't have the work ethic or drive. They said that shit. I remember because I actually liked him when he was in. Uh, well, actually, I didn't care for him that much, but he was cold. <laughs> <laughs> he was cold. No, no, no. I, I was thinking about somebody else, but. But, like, I don't think it's fair to call him lazy because he has improved, like, tremendously on defense. And, yeah, like, defense, defense is a lot about, like, effort, effort. and shit. So, yeah. it's like, it's not that he doesn't try. Like, it's just, I feel like. He can become disengaged or. Uh, disengaged. disengaged. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. sense. Yeah. What you leaning for? What you trying to say? I'm trying to figure out why he's not lazy on offense. He what? ain't saying nothing about offense. He talks about anything about offense. Was, you can't call him lazy because he's worked on his defense and then. Blah, yeah, blah, blah, so if blah, he's blah, not blah. lazy into, on defense, but what about not, the offense? He's not lazy on defense, so that means he. I said, what about the offense? But if he's not lazy on one end of the court, you can't. Yeah, call you him can't a lazy call player. him a lazy player. You can say he hasn't improved on offense. You can say he hasn't put in the work to get to better at better. his at his deficiencies. But like, you can't say that he doesn't work hard because he's worked hard. So we could dispel lazy from Ben Simmons. Maybe he's just a bad shooter. Like Giannis has worked his ass off on shooting, and he hasn't really gotten that much better. Yeah, he shot like, better than AD. <laughs> <laughs> fuck AD got to do this. AD catching straight bullets, bro. What the fuck? What's going on? <laughs> Ooh, boy. AD had nothing to do with nothing. I this. just brought the stretch forward. That's all. Yeah, nothing to do with it. But the Celtics apparently. <laughs> hey, he's look prettier, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty it up, Giannis. <laughs> but apparently, the Celtics have some interest in trading for Ben Simmons. Of course, if they do that. Jalen Brown will have to be part of that. Yeah, team. that's what I'm saying. On Marcus Boston, Smart, too. And, and Boston, Smart, probably. Where Boston hangs up. Like, there's no way in hell that you trade Jalen Brown for Ben Simmons. Like, that's, that's wild. That's like, wild. that's that sounds like that's Philly, be, like, <sighs> trying to drum up interest again. Like, yeah. Could be. Shell said that he thinks it's in uh, in his head. He used to shoot mid-range jumpers and he used to stop. T- Tony you were not lazy, scared. I was like, scared. scared. Like, it does, scared like, I, I try not to, like, psychoanalyze people, but, like, it does seem like. It was a mentality shift. He doesn't want to be embarrassed, so like that's why yep. he doesn't shoot. Like if he, like if he was just bad at shooting, like he don't want to be shooting. Shoot. Like fool. Russell Russell Westbrook is oh my a God. terrible Total shooter, yeah. but he gonna keep shooting. That's <laughs> all. Ain't nobody mean. tell him shoot shit about shooting, bro. I'm gonna shoot that motherfucker. They don't give a fuck. Hey, they eventually go fall, goddamn it. And that's the same thing with Giannis. Like he exactly. does, he does not get embarrassed. Where it's like air ball he, free throw. He, he gonna all air right. ball. But then again, mental. He said his mental health. That's another thing. He probably just needs to sit down and just work work the kinks out. What is you know? We'll see. I mean. I don't know. This, the Celtics, I mean, Brad Stevens admitted that the organization is, quote, going to find out if it has the right group of players. So they already had players only meetings. I'm like, this season yeah. just started. That the sounds thing like they're like, around. Jalen Brown could be, like, the cornerstone of, like, a Dame Lillard trade. So, like, you're not trading. If you're trading Jalen Brown, you're not trading him for, for Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. That makes, Sorry, that number makes, 25. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That Redacted. makes sense, though. Yeah, that doesn't make Shoot. sense. But then now it's reports saying that um, Tatum and Brown can't play together. Or I mean, I've been saying that. Yeah, like, so, it's <laughs> so like, I mean, so it makes sense that they yeah, yeah. that they're bringing it up. Like, oh, well, we got to get rid of one of them, and it'll be Jalen Brown. 
I think Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown's is cold, so bro. Nice, man. Is he better than Tatum? It could be. He the, might be. It could be the hard. No, it could be the hard effect. effect with I'm Brown. there. Like I was like, dog, he might be. But I was sold on Tatum. I'm like, dog, Tatum cold, but dog. Tatum, Tatum, Brown got Tatum some dog in him. Dog. Yeah. I think that's all it is. Like Tatum popped he first. He just popped first. Yeah. But Jalen Brown got some dog in him. Jalen is right there. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like he could have that uh, that Harden pop. Like mm-hmm. when he go to get his own squad, he like he could just turn into that monster, bro. Like to me, it's it's just some like Tatum. Like obviously he has the pedigree. Obviously, like he like you said, he popped first, but he feels like he's plateaued. Whereas Jalen Brown has gotten better every year he's been in the league. Like he's come back and nice. added something yeah. every single year. So it's like, yeah, does that does that continue or do you get like the leap out of Jason Tatum at some point? Because I do think Jason Tatum has the higher ceiling. Yeah, and I, I don't think like that that's too. disputable. But I do feel like Jalen Brown is at this point more likely to hit his ceiling because like he puts in the work. Mm-hmm. Agreed. And it has demonstrated, like, over the course of years, like, I'm going to get better. And I'm going to keep getting better. And working mm-hmm. at it. Yeah. As long as he stay healthy, bro. Yeah. I mean, that's for any player. Like, stay healthy and we, we good to go. And I do always have to, like, remember, like, Jason Tatum has been dealing with, like, COVID after effects. So, like, maybe that's why he hasn't gotten better the last two years. But Long COVID is a thing. Yep. But at the same time, it's like, neither one of them makes teammates better. So, I think that's the problem. It's like, they both, like, basically Smart take turns, saying. like, ISO and... <laughs> Yeah, Marcus. This is what Marcus Smart would pass the ball, bro. But also at the same time, it's like, do you really want Marcus Smart shooting? So like, I, he just saying. I mean, he's just I, no, no, saying, no, no, I, I get general. it. I'm, I'm saying, I'm. He can create for himself. That was just a shot at Marcus Smart. He definitely like, can't create, create for himself. He can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> he can catch and shoot though. But um, <laughs> so this episode, as uh, Eric had told us when we were planning out, it's going to be a heavy episode. So I tried to find some things to talk about to kind of break it up. Mm-hmm. Before we get back into like investigation talks, <laughs> <laughs> I need a hoodie yeah. too. Did as well. I should have wore a hoodie today. Everybody, should, I, everybody throw the hoods. I on. guess that's the thing. Now yeah. we're gonna have to start wearing hoodies there to the studio yeah. for when we have our conspiracy moments. Hell but yeah. the Atlanta Braves did what they we thought. Well, what some of us thought they would do, and that was win the World Series. They beat the Congratulations. Astros in six games. And I just wanted to say. Why was they bus going that fast? I was just going to say that. No, nigga was stupid, bro. That was floating, They dog. was flying in the bus, bro. Everybody on the sideline saw the sideline like, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> he was flying. I was like, bro, they is flying, bro. <laughs> <Not even that>. <laughs> <laughs> If the Bucks would have did that during, I would have been pissed. You took a word, came and tell who's in which bus. You just, I thought that, I thought, I thought I saw. Dog, they was. I was like, bro, this nigga going like, fifty, they bro. Shooting? Like, yeah, they that's what I was like. What happened? <laughs> Dog, they was flying East in Atlanta, bus, like, right? They held the bad part of Atlanta or something. Like, like, bro, what the fuck? They booked it. They, bro, they was riding like they was gonna get shot. Like, don't, don't stick around here too long, bro. No, we got to get up and go. Highs and buys, highs and buys. <laughs> Shell said fun. they booked it through downtown. They definitely, they probably booking it through hey, the suburbs. Have you, shit, have you seen downtown Atlanta? I can see why the motherfuckers <laughs> flying. I've, I've been to Atlanta been since, downtown, since Hey, Atlanta. I love Atlanta, bro. Downtown been, Atlanta. Ain't downtown Atlanta. Yeah, bro, it's rough, B. I ain't been since 07. Been hey, I ain't been since 07. Uh-huh. Shit, right by the Mercedes Benz Stadium is the hood. Yeah, it's the hood. Like, for real hood. In Bankhead or something. Yeah. Because we got through there. I'm like, damn, there's a lot of over here. I wasn't expecting that by the stadium, though. I was oh, like, Shelly, I, was no, like, I see how they're giving it up. Gilly said his guy said they had a normal parade. See, that's what I figured. I figured oh, that they was driving through the hood real quick to On get out to the shit. suburbs. Wow. Like, that's no, no, wild. real parade out there, bro. We're coming to highs and buys, bro. Hey, highs and buys. Out here. <laughs> be this all here, bro. <laughs> y'all niggas wild. Hey, hey the after set out there in the burbs. <laughs> that's some bullshit. Thought y'all was the Atlanta. Oh, what? Braves. They was wild, bro. That's some bullshit. Shit. Hey, the, hey, the bus rolled through Milwaukee real slow. They was downtown. Five miles per hour. And people were still trying to figure out who was on the bu- which bus. It was still going like the parade, but like actually, I just thought about it. like we talk about like the hood is right by the the is yeah like the same hillside thing. is right by the yeah. By but they hood though. It's gigrified though. <laughs> they are trying to take. They it. are. They, 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 they literally really they trying. Up. It ain't they, done yet. It's damn near, bro. They get. They have get you actually been up in the hillside? Yeah, I have. Well, yeah. I, 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 I got my. I get my there. hair done over there. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, was, I used to go to the Hillside Boys and Girls Club all the time. Yeah, I used to play. For, yeah, I used to play for Broncos. I can't remember which Boys and Girls Club I used to go to. I used to go with with uh, Sam. Sherman Park for me. Sherman. Didn't the Bucks um redo they um mm-hmm. basketball yep. court? Yep. But shout out to the Braves for winning the uh, yeah shout out man. the World Series. Some more fun stuff to talk about. It's nice when the sun's out, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, this sun year, goes down, get out of town. As y'all know, 
the NBA is celebrating its 75th season, mm-hmm. but a lesser milestone is also being celebrated. It is also the 25th anniversary of the NBA's play-by-play database, oh. which has given us a far greater understanding of the shooting tendencies of the world's best players. Okay. You know Kurt Goldsberry had to go through this. This is what he does. He likes the numbers. He likes the stats. So he went through to look and find out who the best shooters were mm-hmm. of the past 25 years. I mean, number one is obvious. Yeah, if you I haven't looked at the list. Do you I have not. Okay, do you want to guess the list? Yeah, I haven't looked at it. Top five best shooters of the past 25 years. We just named them. 25 uh, Steph Curry. Years. That's one. That's one uh, Ray Allen. That's two. Oh, okay. Uh, Clay, Clay Thompson. That's five. Kyle? Um, Corver? No. Uh, Kevin Durant? That's, that's four. four. Um, okay. Number three. James Harden? Nope. Three I'll give point you a, shooter. I'll give you a hint if you want. It's a big man. Dirk. Oh, okay, go. yeah, that makes sense. He has Steph at one, Ray at two, Dirk at three, Kevin Durant at four, and Clay Thompson at five. Okay. Mm. Honorable mentions were Dame, Kyle Corver, Steve Nash, Chris Paul, and J.J. Reddick. J.J., that was my dude. That J.J. used to be light lit. Yeah, he lighted dude. up. I was going to say, like, I wonder if Harden should be on that list, but, like, especially, like, in comparison to, like, Chris Paul, but Chris Paul is automatic from, like, mid-range. Man. Whereas, like, Harden <laughs> is, like, all threes or at the rim, and it's like... Mm-hmm. His mid-range game is so gorgeous. I love watching Chris Paul play basketball. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I love it. And it was funny, Steve Nash, um, he was almost, uh, uh, I always get the order of the numbers mixed up, 50, 90, 50, 50 40, 40, 90. For his career, mm-hmm. almost. And it was funny, like, after he retired, he kind of was reflecting. He was. Oh, you don't? Uh-huh. Did I? Chubby. Tim, what the? Technical difficulties, man. We'll be right back. Oh, that was me. Okay. It should be the West Nine back, though. Everything should be back. I'm going to make sure the West Nine up. All right. So, should we keep going? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. It was a ghost, ghost, ghost. All right. Yeah, over the top five shooters though. Do y'all have any disagreements or think anyone else should have been uh listed here? No, I'm good with that list. You good with it? Yeah, I'm good. I don't hear I don't hear saying comprehensive for me. What is any of the berries on well where is the berries right? The berries. That's all I was trying to think. That's all I was trying to think. Shell said, man, it's on my internet. He took the money out. Oh, he took the money out. 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 He took I told you they have one more time. <laughs> that is funny. Play with me. But no, I agree with the list too. I think it's I think it's pretty pretty solid. And it was a question that ESPN did put out saying of the five guys who were listed as the top five shooters of all the past twenty five years, if you had to pick one of those guys to make a game winning shot to save your life, <sighs> which one are you picking? Steph, Ray, yeah. Dirk. KD, Clay. Honestly, your chances are good. Well, any of them, really, but I'm assuming we're talking about three. That's what I thought initially, but. I still always go with KD because he's the best, the one that he can get a shot. I really want to go with Ray, though. I'm going with Ray. I I really, really want to go with Ray Allen. Ray, to me, I mean, again, any of the five, honestly, you probably will look like it's you in good shape here. But with Ray Allen, it's like. The footwork is always impeccable. Like, so he, he knows what he, he has. He does all not time. need much space to get it off. That's a quick shot. And mm. he's got that track record. Like it's, uh, right, it's, it's right for me. 
I like that he can shoot over anybody. Yeah, he, he and if it's not just a three, like you need mm-hmm. someone to create and get the own yeah, shot. Yeah, he can definitely get it. And shot. Man, as long as you know PJ Tucker ain't whooping his ass for seven games, like <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't be airballing. So there's an NBA football boxing crossover uh, coming up. Deron Williams. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there ain't Darren no more. No, Darren Williams. He gonna fight. Frank Gore, apparently, mm-hmm. and the Jake Paul, Tommy Fury on the card on well, December 18th. But Frank Gore been saying that he been wanting to get mm-hmm. a bunch. But Darren was also on Ray Allen, by the way. Okay, Darren Williams though, where'd that come from? Apparently, he's been like doing MMA. So. Oh, yeah, really? He has like I MMA. Oh, oh, he's been training MMA. I don't know okay. What? I don't know, y'all. Y'all. y'all I'm not paying to see that. I'm not paying to see that. Yeah, no, I'm not, not paying to see that. No, I'm but good. I'll but definitely too. I'll, I'll see what happens. Oh yeah. <laughs> But I'm not I'm getting it, right? and I'm definitely going to support yeah. you know, Jake Paul. Hell no. Is it Twitter after the event or during the event? Someone's going to show you. Catch the highlights. Someone's going to have it. Yeah, definitely. They definitely going to send that highlight. Is Tommy Fury related to Tyson? Yes. yes. Okay. The, what, that's his brother? Yep. Yep. Tommy Fury. Oh, Tommy Fury. Yeah. Tommy Fury. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy Fury. 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 Yeah. Tommy Fury.
What happened? I ain't hear this Titanium world. What about the conspiracy theory? Put your hoods up, gentlemen. <laughs> Put your hoods up, gentlemen. What about the conspiracy theory that this is a clutch op to get LeBron ownership through CP3 Intel? Hmm. I wouldn't be mad at that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It makes sense. I mean, shit, LeBron already owns the Raptors. Like, dang. LeBron that makes sense remember? to me. Hmm. LeBron told is a real thing. No, like, I, shit, I, we love a good conspiracy theory. We do. Here. We appreciate the conspiracy theories over the here. The fun ones, not the Aaron Rodgers ones. <laughs> <laughs> not the ones that are detrimental to public Kyrie health. Not, not, not those. Not those. I mean, I, didn't, I haven't heard that one, but I, I know LeBron wants oh, to be a team owner. Let's try to owner. piece this together. So, Rich Paul is in the story, and uh, shit, what was the story? It was something about Bledsoe. Oh, that was what got Earl Watson fired. So, like, Bledsoe was negotiating a contract extension mm-hmm. through Rich Paul. Rich Paul apparently said something that offended Robert Sarver, basically telling him, like, you don't know basketball, stick to tennis or some shit. Mm-hmm. And Sarver was like, Earl Watson, you're represented by a clutch. If you're still represented by a clutch in 10 days, you're fired. And 10 days later, Earl Watson was fired. Yeah, he was gone. That's totally yeah. illegal. Uh, yeah, man. Like, how did <laughs> I mean, hey, hey. how they get off? How they get that off? Right. I mean, it, like it's his team, I guess. We that's, don't. That's what he'll tell you, right? And he'll say that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> that never happened. Oh, I think he said he claimed that Earl Watson was a trash coach, and that's why he got fired. And he thought that it was a conflict of interest to have like a prominent player represented by the same firm as the coach, but that happens in other organizations. And he didn't have a problem with it when he hired. Or Watson to be the coach initially when he had Eric Blesso as a player already. So, hmm. we don't, any y'all have anything else you want to say about the Suns before we get into the Trailblazers? No. It's a long article. Read it, or at least like look at the cliff notes to see like the stuff that he's alleged of because it, it is important. And unfortunately, I don't think that that article by itself is going to be enough to get him Me to either. lose the team. But if they do this investigation and they find out, like they get concrete evidence, I think that hopefully. Because part of what got Sterling out was the, was the audio. Like exactly. it was, it was there's a, no smoking gun. There's here. no smoking gun here, so it's a little bit harder to get him out. Like it's gonna be closer to like what happened with Dallas, which is a slap on the wrist, and we ain't gonna do that again. Right. Pinky swear, promise. <laughs> pinky swears are for real, though. You can't break no pinky swear. Uh-huh. <clears throat> okay. In Portland, <laughs> the Trailblazers and the owner Jody Allen have begun investigating their president of basketball ops, Neil O'Shea. Oh. They hired an independent firm to probe alleged workplace misconduct. And that investigation has included interviews with staff in the recent days that have passed. Mm. Yeah, we don't have any allegations here. At so. this point, it's just that when I saw there was the owner <laughs> saying, like, let's do this investigation. I said, oh. <laughs> oh, and actually, that's why I don't think anything will come from Sarver. Like, if it's just he say she, versus she, they say. Yeah. You know, even if it is 70 people. Um, <laughs> like, er, I feel like a lot... Dallas is a good example. Like, I think a lot of these owners, like, they have their own skeletons in their closet about, like, workplace stuff that they don't want to set the precedent that, oh, I can lose my job or I can lose my team because, you know, somebody actually blows a whistle on, like, what we're really doing here. So, mm-hmm. okay. That's what we're at. Dalvin Cook. The tweet that came out as we were recording the show from Adam Schefter said Minnesota Vikings running back Dalvin Cook is the victim of domestic abuse and extortion. There is pending litigation, according to his agent. Mm. So uh, pro football talk contacted Cook's agent, Mm. try to get additional information. And here's what we have found out. Keep in mind, this broke as we were recording. We Mm -hmm. don't have all the details. When you hear this, we're talking about what we know Mm -hmm. of the situation. So apparently... About a year ago, somebody broke and in, entered into Cook's house unlawfully. It was a woman who did it. And the woman who did that is a sergeant in the U.S. military. Yikes, bro. She apparently attacked Cook in his home while he had a guest present. And mm-hmm. then the invader tr- tried to extort Cook for millions of dollars, claiming that she suffered injuries during the course of the attack that she allegedly initiated. Uh, because she allegedly entered his house illegally, he had the right to defend himself, as authorized by Minnesota's version of the Castle Doctrine. Uh, per his agent, litigation has not yet been commenced, but it's in the process of being initiated. No criminal complaints have been in con- filed in connection with the incident. So That's what it sounds like to me. 
that he had a, 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 some type of pre-existing relationship with this army you, captain. You think so? She got mad because he wasn't giving her no t- no time no more. She broke into his house. He like, him get the fuck out of my house. He beat her up. Oh, no. She's like, I'm going to sue you. He's like, that's extortion. And here we are. That sounds like it probably happened. Yeah. Cause mm, that sounds about right. I don't know why a woman would break into his house and, and just start attacking. I mean, it could happen. And they said, like, there was another guest present, right? Yes. Yeah, so it was another woman in the house. She got mad. Mm. So maybe she didn't even break into his house. Maybe she came over because she thought. She entered the house. What, exactly. What was the wording they used? Uh, unlawfully, like yeah. she, she was not welcome. She into was the not home. invited into the house. She just showed up. She <laughs> had a girl there. She went off. She might have had a key too. Unlawfully entered. Yeah, like that means like if, if you she, gave her if a, had key, a key, like she, she has right. To I mean, her. unless he has a uh, restraining order. order against her. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, Shells. I don't know. I don't know either, man. What out saying? What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, fam. We gonna keep hearing about this is the 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 start the of, of the this story. So there will definitely be more to come. More to come. Transaction and injury news before we get into a little wrestling talk and then uh, blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Oh, Tim ain't got me. Okay. <laughs> NFL transactions. I was uh, looking for it. I lost all that. You know what? Let me like go you, ahead. That's I put that, it all that. That man just it. gave up. He just, I was, I was, <laughs> everything gave him blood. I was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> he just gave up on me. I was like, Dang. I was trying. Oh no! I think I found I saw it. I put the phone. And I'm like, I was like, why you put it down? <laughs> yeah, bro. I was trying. Everything was. Just... All right. So we already talked about it a little bit, but Cleveland Browns and Odell Beckham have come to a mutual agreement to part the ways. OBJ is considered a free agent now. He... I mean, we know that. Yeah. Right. He, he passed away. Gotta... It is. I did just see like he's expected to sleep on it tonight, and like there could be a decision made tomorrow, being Wednesday. Thank you for that. And then we got a. Uh... We already talked about that too. Talked about AP. We got AP there. All right. Bashar Bear. Uh, I ain't even know y'all had that nigga. Bashar Perriman got released by the Bears. Y'all need wide receiver helping y'all letting some more go? He probably don't want to be there no more. I didn't even know he was on the squad. Hey, bro, we ain't throwing That's no why he's bro. not anymore. Hey, bro, he just threw for over 200 yards for the first time. <laughs> like, we not throwing the ball like that, bro. In less than a week, the Raiders now have re- have now released both their 2020 first-round picks in Damon Arnett and Henry Ruggs. Uh, due to the off-field issues, so that's a nice way of putting it. Yeah. Yes, it is. Pretty much, that's a very nice way to put it. You have one threatening people with a gun and videos, and then mm-hmm. the other one murders somebody with a DUI. So, yeah, the NFL, like obviously, like they're not completely happy about like what Rogers is doing, but they're definitely happy because that took that story off of the front page. Because yep. yeah, that was the next day for them. Thankfully for them. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, but in his feed, has been signed by the Oakland Raiders. Which make, Las makes Las Vegas. Makes perfect sense. But it does make sense. <laughs> Las Vegas, yeah, you're right. What are we going to get first? Like, Las Vegas Raiders or Los Angeles Chargers? Cause Neither one sound right. They don't. It's going to take a while still. Because mm. even on uh, national TV, they still call them Las Vegas. I mean, uh... <laughs> Now, now look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that a now I don't want to say it right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, NFL injuries. Uh, 49ers right tackle Mike McGlinchey tore his quad and is out for the season. Broncos guard Graham Glasgow, who was carted off the field with leg immobilized, did suffer a fracture. Sources said he's out indefinitely as well. Uh, Cardinals running back Chase Edmonds has suffered a high ankle sprain and is expected to land on IR. He should miss about three to four games. Dolphins right, uh, wide receiver Devontae Parker was placed on injured reserves after suffering a setback with his hamstring in practice. Um, he's out the, at least the next two games. Because he already missed one this past mm-hmm. weekend. Falcons placed wide receiver Calvin Ridley on the non-football injury list, meaning he's out a minimum of three weeks. He has some personal stuff he keeps saying going take on. Take care so of your mental health, brother. Uh, just safety Marcus May tore his Achilles and is out for the year. That is tragic. Oh, Not good to- lord. Yeah. Jets tight end Tyler Croft has a lung laceration that and is out multiple right. weeks. He should return this season. That, that oh, yeah, if I have a lung laceration, I'm not returning to shit. <laughs> That's a fact. Mm. I saw my mom had both her lungs collapse at different times. Yee. And watching that recovery was like, sheesh. Like, your lungs went out? <laughs> they said it's like trying to suck air through, like, a straw with a hole in it. Like, oh. That's scary. Yeah. That's, that's scary. I can't breathe. Like, I can, that's how I was when I had COVID. That's how that shit for Immediately mm. thinking, I'm out of there, bro. Panthers center Matt Paradis is out with the year. Oh, out for the year with uh, torn ACL, COVID nineteen. <laughs> yeah, we talked man. about Rogers, um, but the scorch continues. 
Vikings safety Harrison Smith and center Garrett Grant Bradbury. Cardinals wide receiver A.J. Green. Bills car- uh, quarterback Mitchell Trubisky Trent and Mingo. Broncos tight end Noah Fant, as well as Drew Locke, who's also quarterback. Uh, also among the affected in the last week when the New York Giants had to overcome a rash of false positives and everything that entailed. So there's a lot of it's spreading like wildfire. There are rules in place that NFL said y'all better not cancel none of these damn games. There ain't nobody <laughs> getting paid. You motherfuckers are, keep playing. Y'all losing draft way. picks. All of that shit. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> they go fuck around. NBA injuries. I don't know if the timing checks out, but I'm like, damn, Halloween took plenty of people out because I feel like the NBA had an uptick after that. Everybody, NFL Everybody obviously. To kick it. Yeah. it was funny Halloween parties. Rashard Perriman's about to sign with the Tampa Bay, by the way. Wasn't he there already? Yep. He His was. whole team, he, he, he was like, hey, <laughs> I'm out of here. And Denzel Mims from the Jets has also been placed on the COVID list. Damn. Uh, NBA injuries. Cavaliers guard Colin Sexton suffered a torn meniscus to his left knee. No mm-hmm. immediate timetable on a return. More testing to come, but expect Sexton to have an extended absence. Cleveland He's- has surprised me so far. They be hooping. Mm-hmm. Evan Mobley's Evan, nice. Yeah, he's all so like this again. This draft class looks like it's going is nice. to be pristine. <laughs> and motherfucking uh, uh, Scotty Barnes <laughs> still terrorizing motherfuckers up there. He just took the ball from KD. Motherfucker, roll, but he's, hold on. Let me hold that real quick. Mine yeah, locked I'm up Harden. I'm all in on Scotty Barnes. No, ditto. Uh, Celtics All Star Jalen Brown. We were just talking about him. Will likely miss one or two weeks with a head. Right, I just said this shit. Well, he missed one or two weeks with uh, right hamstring strain. You did mention his health. <laughs> because he's every year. 76ers all-star Joel Embiid has entered health and safety protocols. He's expected to miss at least 10 days. Why are we only up by three then? Uh, unless Apparently he returns- Giannis is having a rough game. Oh. I don't, I, I'm, we're here. I can't tell you why. <laughs> You're asking the wrong <laughs> no, I know, I know. It was kind of Somebody like, uh, out loud. in the comments tell us what's going on in the Yeah, Bucks if you're watching the Bucks game, please tell us uh, what, what's the deal been. Oh, they up eight now. Okay, because it was they was up three at halftime, sixty one to fifty eight. That's the last yeah. And they in. were down after the first, so mm-hmm. off for sure. Uh, he's expected to miss at least ten days. He being Joel Embiid, uh, unless he returns to negative COVID nineteen results in twenty four hours moving forward. Yep. And wrestling talk to end the topic conversation before we get into the blow the whistle, and before we get into the tech top five, which this top five I am very much excited about. WWE had some cuts. They released Again, 18 folks on Thursday night. Some bangers this time. Some of those names included Keith Lee, who they tried to call the Bearcat. <laughs> Not his idea. We knew that. There's no way that man said, yeah. Call me the Bearcat. I want to be a Bearcat. And it was right before you walked out. <laughs> what? No, bro. No. Nia Jax, gone. That Karrion was Cross, gone. It's like, damn, what? They was pushing the shit out of dude. And then Vince killed it. As fast as they pushed him down to NXT, brought him up, and just destroyed the whole thing. They was pushing the hell out of him. Ember Moon. Like, there's a lot of people that got cut. Yeah. As I mentioned, it was 18 people. Mm-hmm. So. Allegedly, some of those cuts were because people got refused to get, get vaccinated. vaccinated. Yeah, that's what I heard, too. Yeah, and uh, Nia Jax actually said, like, if they would have just, like, like, that wasn't brought up to me before they cut me, like. If they would have brought it up, she would have. She didn't say, like, she just said, hey, like, yeah. give me the option. Yeah, right. Like, give me the option to know what's going yeah, on. What's but going apparently on. there's also going to be more cuts. They're pretty much cutting everybody over the age of 30 at mm-hmm. this point. Which feels like an age discrimination. Unless too. you're on TV. Yeah. But, I mean, it, that <laughs> feels like if the only, I mean, I guess they're independent contractors, so they don't have the same protection as that, like, mm-hmm. employees you know, do. Vince, but, like, yeah, Vince got all them little work the still, It feels like it's, Loop like, holes. you're old, so we're not going to keep you. That feels like it's a, a lawsuit. <laughs> Like, you would think, you know, but he, you know, he got his mumbo jumbo. We're moving younger. We're going younger. The thing is, like, people could challenge him and like win because, like, a lot of the contract is basically unenforceable. But like, he'll tie them up in litigation for so long, like, it doesn't make any sense. So they just people just roll over. He got a longer bankroll too. <laughs> then he should have. He got a. He have litigation bankroll. He has a whole bank account specifically for <laughs> lawsuits because he know he wild. See, if I was, Ain't no way. If I was Tony <laughs> Khan, I'd be like, hey, we, we'll fund all y'all little law- lawsuits. Run his ass out of business. And Tony Khan, he did say, he was like, yeah, there's some names on that list. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it could be a, a little I would bit like an AEW. And then he said, he was like, every time there's cuts, I'm looking at the list mm-hmm. to see who it is. He's yeah, like, why would not? Yeah. Pretty much like, Keith Lee probably end up there. Uh, Keith Lee for sure. Keith Lee and Mia Yim probably end up over there because mm-hmm. they cut her too. And uh, apparently Ember Moon is somebody too who they're like. Really she was cold, but she I got know. hurt. I know, but like and she, she came back good still. She would be a boon to their uh, women's division for sure, for sure. 
and Keith Lee, they don't have no guy like Keith Lee. No, ain't nobody like roster. Keith Lee. Not no, just monster dude. So that would be tight to see too. I do wonder if like now with NXT 2.0 and it seeming like like maybe there's more continuity between NXT and the main roster. So hopefully, oh. the new guys. They're I, it's not out. even a conspiracy. Like, <laughs> it's, it's another one. Oh, okay. I, I wonder if now like they're cutting like basically the people that don't fit like their model of the future and Probably. like. So this is what his hood come in at. So I seen this one right, and I, well, I can kind of jive with this conspiracy. He's God. this conspiracy was. <laughs> The conspiracy was is that because Vince lost the Wednesday Night Wars to AEW, that he's in essence purging the old NXT from existence in essence by firing most of the wrestlers that was involved in the Wednesday Night Wars. They changed the branding of the uh, NXT. They changed the colors of the NXT. And anybody who it was anybody in essence that was still down at NXT that had anything to do with those Wednesday Night Wars, if you weren't a mainstay in the main roster, has been expunged from the company. That makes sense. I can see that. I was like, yeah. I can rock with this one because uh, what's the name might be out too. Um... What's his name? Tommaso? Oh, Tommaso Ciampa? Oh, for real? Nah. If they get rid of him and uh, Gargano. Hey, Gargano, then, like they, they might, then that's they, the, that is what he was doing. Yeah. Mm. If they get rid of them, for sure, for sure. Hey, Ciampa the champ, right? Yep. yep. Shit. I mean, they was pushing the shit out of Keith Lee. They brought him up and didn't do shit with him. He was the double yeah. champ. He also got, uh, was it hurt or was it COVID? It was COVID. COVID. That had him out for a while, yeah. Oh, he had dose straps? But what about uh, Karrion Cross? The motherfucker was the champ down in NXT and he came up without the yeah. damn belt I mean, and then lost his uh, valet at the same time and his own character. It's something that Eric pointed out a while ago was like maybe the way they were built on NXT is not like it's not sustainable on the main roster because they were built as being like monsters or these dudes who were untouchable but you can't have that same a whole roster full of untouchable dudes right like it doesn't make sense so like they had some problems with how they were developing guys in that sense but yet and still I think there was more they could have done to kind of ease that transition if they really believed in those guys talent I think that was the problem they don't believe in but yeah so that's where we at blow the whistle time blow that whistle all right, now, that's enough out of you. You know what? Tee his ass up. You going to start acting out the... the uh... I need to find my whistle. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I'm just buying a new one then. <laughs> <laughs> my blood whistle is on uh, the Miami Heats. Yeah. Uh, so if you missed last <laughs> night being Monday, uh, the game between the Miami Heat and Denver Nuggets, uh, Denver was up large uh, late in the game. Nikola Jokic was on a fast break. Uh, was it Markeith Morris? Yeah, committed, I ran him over, bro. Committed a uh, what he claims and what Eric Spoelstra claims is a common take foul. Egregious. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Nikola Jokic took some offense to how hard that take foul was given As and retaliated by basically pushing Morris in the back. Yep, kind of whipped his neck a little bit, had him on the ground for a little while. Man, don't get they brought him the stretcher, that. but he he walked off under his own don't power. Don't get him in all that. And then uh. <laughs> You know. Then once like the teams were completely separated, then Miami Heat here come Jimmy. starters. You know, <laughs> then they lost their shit. Talking about meet us in meet us in the tunnel, and you know like try that shit again. Blah blah blah. You know like just talking shit when they're you know fifty feet away from each you other. See not, that you look not hold me yeah, back, bro. Not when they were like <laughs> like right after right it happened. There. Like not right after it happened. You exactly. know like, when they had a chance to you know actually do something. Like exactly. no, once you had like you know cadres of security and team personnel in between the two of you so then after the game apparently the miami heats like why do i keep saying heats the miami i'm going to the sonics <laughs> <laughs> the the heat starting lineup plus haslam and i think joel anthony mm-hmm Mine is Tyler Hero. That man wanted no parts of any he, of this. Yeah, he know he would. He knew what they knew what the deal was. I don't got nothing. Like, you want some me. of this too? No, no, no. I don't no. no. got nothing to do with me. Like, come on, man, just calm down. Um, uh, yeah. So apparently they 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 tried to to meet Jokic in the locker room yeah, because y'all, y'all, you can't do that to our teammate. Yeah, y'all at least you can't do it on national TV. And where we like, how dare you stand up? How dare you? <laughs> it's a, it's a whole like, not, like <laughs> why y'all try to fight like when it's like after everything is broken up like you, know, exactly. you didn't want no parts of that unhand me scoundrel I'm standing right next to him go m- walk off and mug him that picture yeah. was so weak though <laughs> it's in the hallway weak. look at his shit like bro who Super turned the light weak. off in the hallway you, you got one one security guard it's like 10 of y'all bro and y'all age security guard <laughs> everybody's 6 8 and up right <laughs> 
<laughs> just, just look, peeking. Y'all lucky you right here. Wrong. If he was right here, it'd be a problem. Man. Why y'all ain't had that hallway light on? Why it's is it back there dark? So it's now there, there's a uh, Twitter beef between the brothers, the Morris twins, and hey, the Jokic brothers. Hey man, I just want to say, like, I, I. Philadelphia is a rough place. Like hey. I don't, I don't begrudge. Like you hey. definitely grew up harder than me. But Philadelphia is not Civil War era <laughs> Serbia. Exactly. Hey. Serbia's bro. Are you serious? Hey, everybody like, heard about y'all, Serbia. Y'all might have grew up dodging bullets. They grew up dodging bombs. Like, so <laughs> I would suggest. You not bark up that tree because that yeah. tree will fall on you and make you disappear. And they don't give a fuck, bro. Shell's right. That pitch, that picture was staged. They definitely wanted yeah, that. Yeah, I saw that one. They was like, "Hey, stand right there. Get the hey, angle, bro. Who took the picture? Get the angle. <laughs> right. The light. Tyler Hero. Right. He took it. Right. Because it's on, it's it's on the Denver side. So yeah. somebody on Denver side took the picture, y'all. Come on now. Hey. Look at they these. just stood in the locker room door. They like, look at these niggas, niggas man. Yeah, they was, because they knew them brothers was outside. Hey. They was just peeking, looking for them niggas. <laughs> That's why. They was like, hey, them brothers. Is, y- is Yoki's brothers here or no? Because they tweeted at them like, hey, mm-hmm. if y'all want some smoke, we got it. They was there. They was Y'all ready. want them problems. They said the Morris brothers, y'all don't want them problems. I'll read you the exact know. tweet. Yeah. Them motherfuckers. No, the Yoki brothers stay ready. Yeah. Like. Marcus Morris tweeted, wait till bro back. Waited till bro turned his back. SMH noted. Handwriting emoji. After that, the Jokic brothers came through with a little tweet, and they said they added Mook Morris too. <laughs> you and your brother, you should leave this the way it is instead of publicly threatening our brother! Ex- exclamation point there. Your brother made a dirty play first. If you want to make it a step further, be sure we will be waiting for you! Exclamation point. No, that's like the calmest death threat in history. Like, so and then know, they then they waiting. signed it Jokic brothers. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, you know. wait, 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 wait. So and then they real. text a reporter like, "Yes, this is yeah, our, this is us. Our, 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 our shit. Just so you know, it is us. This, this isn't fake. Ain't nobody hack it's our really shit. Us. Us. We said that. <laughs> we we want Just, all the smoke. We want the world to know. We want the smoke. We want and all I forget the smoke. Which Mark, or Marcus, Marcus brother, which Morris brother thereafter tweeted, but they was pretty much like, "Well, we the ones." Oh, oh. and I was okay. like, "Whoa!" When y'all just magically. This be is good, like Lucky Charms and shit. They're like, damn, where the, where the twins at? Hey, man. Hey, <laughs> I, I ain't even heard of from them. I niggas. do not know. Them <laughs> niggas do not <laughs> recall. Like, ain't nobody got time for that shit, bro. Don't play them games. It's going to be a retirement tweet. They talking about, oh, we both retired. <laughs> Don't play them Mm-mm. games. Mm-mm. Thank you. Nope. Also, like, it felt like uh, Zebo to uh, Demarcus Cousin. Like, the bullies get bullied where I'm God, from. Like, that shit was funny. The Morris twins are habitually, like, yeah. trying to intimidate people on the court, like, for no reason. Like, like y'all not y'all y'all why? might be tough y'all not that tough and then i saw people like on twitter making it like oh like how everybody is supporting this white white you know but making it a race thing like it ain't it ain't, it ain't even that, that. Bro. Okay. he was dirty, it was that, a dirty bro. play yeah it was like y'all see this man put the elbow clean <laughs> in my man's neck bro i mean like, like anybody would push yeah them. anybody would have reacted that way like and you now. down 17 with like two yeah, minutes so left in like, the game like why are you doing that bro like, we like, know what on, that man. was. We know exactly what that was. And then he tried to turn around so that then, like, anything that he does in retaliation yeah. does look like, oh, it's a cheap yeah, shot. Yeah, it's a like, cheap shot. Yeah, it's like, come on, bro. It's, relax. Because the thing is, like, if you fouled him too hard, uh-huh. like, you would have been like, oh, my bad, dog. Yep. But no, you turned around and wanted to walk off. Yeah. You made yourself a target. Yeah, you? bro. Jimmy Butler, relax, bro. Man, j- y'all niggas ain't about their life, bro. Relax. Blow the whistle. Nobody, nobody in the NBA really about their life. You really think about it? Got too much money to lose. It's now. a few. It's it's a select few. But come Apparently, on. Apparently, Demar Derozan is one not to be trifled with. Oh, uh, hmm. uh, well, I can see that. Which is known around the league. Like, I don't. Ain't from Compton. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, was like, I remember in the playoff series where he got in Giannis' face, and Giannis looked at him kind of like like. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, Compton. But then I was like. <laughs> Ooh, war! <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "Ooh, didn't have no food and right. had to like survive." Like, and that's the other thing. Like, people try to punk Europeans. Like, like they ain't fam, been you through know, shit. Like, again, like wars, extreme poverty. Like, uh-huh. U.S. poverty is one thing. Like, Greek po- poverty. Did you Did you see that in Germany? They doing uh, PSA commercials <laughs> to feed hungry children in America now. What? Was that actually? Le- I saw the thing. Like, was that actually legit? That can't it was like be a, real, bro. a Fam, satire. That can't I be have real. no idea, but I saw it and I was like, <gasps> because they always do third world country ads. <laughs> that can't be real. Yeah. Oh, but, I mean, hey, let's be honest. Hey. No, you know what? Not another time. <laughs> yeah. hey, look, let's just I be happy. Going, Trump not president. <laughs> it's all that get shit. Way off topic, <laughs> but America's really slumming. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we definitely ain't up. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> what people think we are, hey, but uh, good, old, good old Joe ain't doing the shit. Hey, good old Joe owe me some money, hey. Joe. 
Joe on that booth. 46. Yeah. I'm looking at you. Hey, <laughs> selling niggas pipe dreams. Word them student loans being canceled at, bro. <laughs> See, what happened was... Psych, motherfucker. Big psychs. Psychs, motherfucker. Gotcha. I ain't talking about my family either. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Let's get into the top five and get up out of here. Five, four, three, two, one. Tech top five. I had to do it with him. Okay. I said with him. Like, I'm not (laughs) part of (laughs) (laughs) it. Hey, they cold, though. (laughs) (laughs) Ain't nothing. They have to join in with them. I don't know who they is. They cold, though. That's a, that's a catchy thing they do. Last <laughs> week we did uh, the best NBA City Edition jerseys. I don't think I put a poll up for that one. My yeah, bad. Yeah. I was all discombobulated after that trip. I still didn't know how that week went. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know when you get back from a trip, you be like, it, like then I missed work, and then I came back, and I was I only got like three days in the office, and there was so much to do, and then, it, yeah, it was a lot. But this week, we are doing remixes better than the original. All right. Aye. What a difficult top five. There are so many dope remixes. So, Tim. Hmm. Okay. Now, these are my favorites, all right? I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. Better than the original. So, you think all these are better than the original? Yep. All right. Just, just clarifying. All right. Go ahead. Uh, Number five. Five. I'm going to go with the two-step remix. Mm-hmm. You know my bank route. That's my shit. I bro. got a lot of zeros. <laughs> zeros. Teddy yeah. Pink. Yeah, he didn't get a show up on that. <laughs> um, so that's gonna be number five. I'm put the number right there. I'm, I'm, I'm putting them in order on the wheel. All right, number four. Oh shit! I'm gonna go with I'll be there for you. Okay. Well, I, cool. uh, Method Man and Mary J. Blige. Ah, that's yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, number three. That's a classic. Yeah, yeah man. That's one of my favorites. Uh, number three. I'll go with shit, shit. Yeah, shit. Well, these are shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, like if you saw my list, I was working off of. I'm gonna show you afterwards. It's, all right, it's like Fuck. thirty songs. All right, I'm gonna go with "I Need a Girl" remix at number three. Can't go wrong with that. Part, part two. two. <laughs> yeah, well, part two. That's the part one. Two, yeah. That's mm-hmm. the one. Part two is the one. Just uh, like Jagged Edge, let's get married. The remix is the one. Mm-hmm. Shit, you forgot about that one. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> <laughs> I did. I'm gonna go with fuck. Ooh. So I got two and one. Yep. But these are my favorites, though. Hey, it's your list. Dude. Uh, fuck. I'm gonna go with number two. Bitch, don't kill my vibe remix. I love that remix. Mm-hmm. Give me a good Jay Z verse and I'm there. That motherfucker, Kendrick is still floating too. See, that's, <laughs> I prefer the original. So personally. here's the, here's the thing with that one. What I liked what Kendrick did was like, because most people let Jay go last and then it's over. Kendrick said, no, 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 no. <laughs> I got one more verse. I can match that too. I got one more. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me get this back. Let me get this back. And he did his thing on that one. Like he ain't let Jay just float on his shit and just leave it be. Like no, nah, no, he let no nigga. I he can said, float too. He said I get the last word on my song. <laughs> Used to be in the pen, now my pen writing for morphine. I'm saying, I kill niggas. <laughs> anyway, fuck, this is hard. I told you, I mean, yeah, bro. That's why I, I just, I just came, I just randomly did it. I was like, it's gonna work in some way. I, just, I, I was like, I just hope we have some variations with our list. Yeah, I think which, we do. Which I think we are. Looking, yeah. Uh, okay, number one, I'm gonna go with the fuck finesse remix. That's my favorite. Okay. Okay. Wait. That, uh, That's Harley B, right? Mars. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I had that shit on repeat for like garbage. For like, <laughs> no, I feel you. I feel you. I had garbage. I ain't gonna say it's garbage, but not number one. God damn, it is. Again, it's my favorite, bro. Well, I'll give you that, boss. You know? <laughs> He's a nice I just can't get jiggy. <laughs> hey, this is my shit. Like, it's, it's so many though. It's like yeah, there's gonna be a yeah, bunch yeah. of them. I'm like, you when know, we get the whole five could be. We'll go after. Yeah, after we do our list, Eric, what you got? Number them as you go. I got. I have my top four. The fifth spot is ridiculous. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um. Fuck it. I'm gonna go with Confessions Part Two at number five. That's a good one. Some R and B. So now there is a confession. Well, we did talk there's about a, that there's a there's a Confessions Part One. Mm-hmm. And the, but there is a Confessions Part Two remix. There's three different Confessions. <laughs> because there is a. And there's, I said Confessions part, part Two. Two. He didn't say remix to the mm-hmm. Part Two. Just the the two. Four. I need a girl Part Two. 
Yes. I love that too. Three, welcome to Atlanta Remix. Thank you. I, I was hoping and, uh, it didn't Snoop. make my list, but I wanted someone to have it on there <laughs> because and it was so much better than the Razor. It's way better, and also that's one of that's one of Diddy's best verses. Mm-hmm. Don't I don't know, know who wrote it, but they got that shit off. What? <laughs> he wrote it himself. <laughs> you know he didn't write it. He'll <laughs> <laughs> be the first one to tell you he didn't write that. Shit. If you don't he hear, if it. you don't hear. But the sun don't it's shine forever. <laughs> but as long Longer as it's here, here, then we might as well shine together. together. Then he didn't write it. Better now than ever. This is my full pleasure. <laughs> that nigga got bars, bro. What you talking about? <laughs> Diddy be out here spit, nigga. Take that. Take that. Take that. <laughs> Two, uh, I'm a flirt remix. Okay. Cause that is the like, that. like most ruthless move I've ever seen in my life. Like, yeah, Kel should say, give me your song, fam. How do you mean like, for real? Yeah, but how you, well, you didn't even get hooked on your own song. No, he took Bow no. completely off. Just took the whole... T- so the, the original I'm a Flirt was Bow Wow featuring R. Kelly. Yeah. The remix is R. Kelly v- I <laughs> featuring... I completely t- forgot about the original because <laughs> I do remember the original now. Yeah. I completely... It, I mean, it made you forget about the original completely. Yeah. Yeah. Just erase that song from existence. Fuck. Cold-blooded. And I didn't even want to have R. Kelly on this list. He but damn near, he damn took, never I, was on my. I took him off. I took him off. I, if I'm being completely honest, uh-huh. this list would have been different. R. Kelly, yes. R. Kelly could have been the, on here multiple times. He could have been the whole like, list, if for real. Like he got because the fact that Step in the Name of Love is a remix. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. Every time you do that, I think you're singing Robin Thicke. <laughs> <laughs> he another begging nigga. Number one. Uh, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna take it off. Like I gotta stand by my principle. So we're um, taking Kells off. So we're taking Kelly off. Okay, for sure. But I did want to get that anecdote in there. Um, so in that case, Shook Ones remix, Mob Deep, okay. Lil Kim. I ain't gonna bump it down. That can just go in number two. Let's go that song. Um, and one only you. One. I knew. Love. I knew that was gonna be because I know how much you love that song. I was like, that's gonna. That was be. like my first favorite song. Of, of my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to say I'm I'm really happy right now because y'all have not said one song on my list. So I'm going to have a fresh list for the people. There's so many of them. I, I, that's what I was hoping for with this mm. one. That's why I like this one. Okay. <clears throat> Number 5. I got SWV right here human nature mix. That's mm. That was also that was, on my that list. Was on, yeah, that's on my short list cuz that that shit fire. Number 4. I got Kanye West featuring Jay-Z Diamonds from Sierra that's Leone. On my, that's the on remix. my short list too. I okay. said this before we started, but I personally prefer the original. You know, okay. For but sure it is a cold song. Like I, for sure, shells definitely could have been a whole R. Kelly list. Uh, <laughs> Damn creep. Number three, <laughs> number three. I got Fox featuring Webby and Lil Boosie. Ah. Right down Ooh. remix. <laughs> Come on now, B O O S I E B A D A Z. We talking about other problematic people, and I ain't want to have them on list. Hella spelling, boy. I did too. I did too. Niggas can spell. I hear you. This nigga waiting in the water now. But that Somebody ain't... said, like, uh, Webby Park is a Negro <laughs> spiritual. Like, low key. <laughs> rolled, up to the cl- rolled up to the club. Or that's Fox Park. Come and talk to me. Remix. Ooh. That's a good one. Okay. Ooh. That's a good one. Okay. So I had I'm right here Diamonds from Sierra Leone remix. Mm-hmm. Wipe Me Down remix. Mm-hmm. Number two. Wipe Me Down. Erica Badu, Bag Lady, the Chiba Sack Radio remix. So the version that you hear on the remix, or the version you hear on the radio is actually the remix. If you get Mama's Gun, the album, Bag Lady is actually a very slow song. Mm -hmm. And when I got that album, I wanted to hear Bag Lady. Mm -hmm. I went to and I said, this ain't the Bag Lady. (laughs) You you. don't miss your bus. I said, this ain't it. (laughs) But when you hear that, Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Also, <laughs> why are y'all harmonizing this? <laughs> <laughs> when you hear that, <laughs> like you know, you got a hit. Hey, we might have to listen to some Eric on the way. Back, Can we bro. please just? I just need to hear that song on the way home, and I'm I'm happy. Number one, what Titania World just put on here, Notorious B.I.G. One more chance, stay yeah. with me remix. I because if you try to play me any other version of One More Chance, and I don't hear that sample. I am turning it off. <laughs> and I love Biggie, but I had to turn it yeah. off. Um, all right. Um, so my five. Um, at five, throw some D's. 
<laughs> Throw some cheese on that bitch. With a Kanye one? Yeah, with a Kanye, yeah. That muff. Throw some cheese on that bitch. <laughs> 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 uh, but that's number five. Number four, I Need a Girl, part two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, number three, The Walk It Out remix. Mm. Nigga, Andre Three Stacks. Yes. Murder that's only, yeah. Shit, bro. Walk yeah. it out like an usher. usher. Like, oh, hold on, like, wait a minute. <laughs> hold on, just, just go back. Exactly. Walk it out like an usher. No, he gets spazzed on If it's a real talk, I probably won't trust you. Um, I said real talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, number two, all about the Benjamin's remix. Okay, which I before we did this, I mm-hmm. did not realize that was the remix this yeah. whole time. Uh huh. I did not know mm-hmm. that until we did this top five. And then number one, Versace remix. Versace. Versace that's my favorite. Versace. So that's literally Versace. my favorite. Versace. That's my favorite dog. Drake just. Oh. Bro, if they wouldn't take us off the air, bro, I would love to play that song on the way out. Bro. <laughs> what? This is oh, no, they gonna dog, take us off. Bro, they get us out the paint so damn fast, bro. <laughs> Faster hey. than that ghost did. <laughs> Faster than that ghost. <laughs> ghost, 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 ghost. <laughs> Casper is here walling out. Hey, let's whip his ass real quick. All right. Put that on there. <laughs> now let's talk about the honorable mentions. What else did y'all have Ignition. on y'all list? Ignition remix. That didn't make mm-hmm. it. Cause that's, that's, oh, dude, that is my that's son. Y'all named all of them. That, I, think. I don't know how my son knows Ignition Remix. <laughs> we got in the car and he was like, "Dad, can you play beat beat? What he say? <laughs> he play two two beat beat." And I was like, "What?" And then I had to think. About, I was like, "What the fuck, you? How you doing right now? No, I'll put the song on. He sung the entire song, bro. I was just like, he said, give me a two two. I was just like, then it made me think. I was like, bro, I'm, I'll be wilding. Yeah. My, son, my son know this shit, bro. I was like, I'm out here wilding, bro. Yeah, That's one of his favorite songs. Yeah, yeah bro. bro. I was just toot, like, toot, beat, beat. I was like, Jesus Christ. To, to be fair, that song, I can see how it like appeals mm-hmm. to children's ears. Yeah. He, Finesse remix. My daughter, can we listen to Dripping in the Nest? I'm like, oh, <laughs> what? Pastor Cavassier was on my short list. Yes. Okay, yeah, that was going to. Um, uh, touch It remix. Mm. I, had, I was like, ah. see, I got stumped. the The radio version is the remixed version. Stumped by who? Kurt uh, Franklin. Yes, that's a fun fact. There's th- yeah. there's two different mixes of that song, but and the one that you hear on the radio is actually the remix. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was that oh, Old Town Road remix too. Yep, that shit became the world anthem yeah. and shit. Uh, <laughs> Savage, <laughs> Savage remix. Flavor in your ear, Craig Mack. Mm-hmm. Here comes yeah. a brand new, new flavor in your ear. In my bed, uh, Drew, Drew Hill. Yes. Somebody. What's that? Someone playing them? Uh, yeah. Fantasy. Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. Yep. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jagged Edge, Let's Get Married remix. Yep. One of my favorites, too. Uh, Ignition, Janet, yeah. Janet Jackson That's and Blackstreet. Oh, I get yeah. lonely remix. I love Blackstreet oh, and dude. Janet together. That's one of my fucking favorite Blackstreet <laughs> songs. With, oh. You forgot about that one? I did. I done had that shit on there. Also, <laughs> I want to shout out them franchise boys and Oh, I Think They Like Me remix. Oh, I Think They Like I Me. I love that song. Oh, 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 oh I, I Think They Like Me. No, I follow Fabo, dog. I know it's random. Right ah, that is random right as fuck. No, that nigga <laughs> he is still be hilarious. Bro. Yes, bro. <laughs> I always think of your ass, bro. This nigga do the same move. I was like, no, this nigga out he here. He still grabbing the leg and shit? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I was like, he out here killing that shit, bro. My nigga did a full concert, bro. Do the same dance, bro. Same Crowd going nuts. Did any of y'all have the Drew Hill in, in my bed remix? I think well, no, not on my list, but I just said it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's another good one. And Destiny's Child, no, no, no. Because. Mm, I prefer the original. You like the slow version? Oh, no, I do. The white clever John, he got to come out there. Close your eyes. Wait, no, I do. Pre- to be I, I do the booty is your watch it. I don't care about your eyes. Hey, watch Girl, my nigga, dog. Man, I'll be going till November. I'll be going. That was my it shit. It was funny bro. when I was going through it, too, because I was like, uh, man, listen, like, I could really do like an all Jermaine Dupri list. I could do an all Diddy list. Diddy was the one. I'm like, that nigga was just remixing the entire night. Everything, bro. And I could, Him do, and R. Kelly. And I could do it all R. Kelly list, if we, mm. we're being honest here. Like those, when I think of remixes, I do think of those three first. I think mm. of Kells, I think of Diddy, I think of JD. Mm-hmm. Them So So Deaf remixes used to hit because uh, Where the Party At, we with Jagged Edge. We gotta bring back <laughs> actual remixes. Like now it's just they release the same song with a new verse on it. Yeah. Y'all know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> I also think, oh, what was one I forgot was the remix too? Um, I think it was a Busta song. And it was with Sean Paul. Oh, make it clap. Make it clap. <laughs> I'll follow, at least oh, that's a remix? And I heard. Make Sha- it clap. I heard. Sean oh, Paul. Oh, yeah. Remix. <laughs> 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 one time. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's that, that, that do count. Sean Paul. Now make it clap. Oh. All right. 
that's the show this week y'all we hope y'all enjoy when y'all see that top five list go up make sure them votes come down also let us know it'll be on your list because honestly there's just so many good ones. there's so many good ones so we hope y'all enjoy man as a reminder make sure that y'all like subscribe rate review share the show all that good stuff ugly sweater party coming your way december 19th get your sweaters be there be there be there or be square we should we should sell masks at the door. Like, hey, <laughs> sell them at the door. At the door. I mean, if they, they already paid to get in. Give them a good time. Just go ahead and take this with you. Oh, free <laughs> free merch. Oh, we might can put oh, on a sponsor some masks for this. Yeah. Just throw throw merch out during the party. Like, hey, I, mean, I know I can I can, I can grab like a hundred masks. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> Look at his hands. He's in there doing his hands and everything. I see you, Bird, man. Let's get out of here. Um, Before Tim incriminate himself. Right. <laughs> yeah, man. So make sure I do all that. We appreciate y'all so much for tuning in. Thank you to everybody who was on the, the hey, live stream. Up. Titonia World, appreciate Shells, you. Mark, we appreciate y'all for real. Y'all definitely added some life to this show. Y'all can also, if you're listening to this, you can also be part of the show. Yes, you can. Tuesdays, Hop 6 on. to 8.30 p.m. Hop we will on. be we posting here. on the, the social news, media. The Good Hop News on. app. Or on YouTube. We are there. We are on our own YouTube. We are also on the Good News Sports YouTube. Which mm-hmm. You can find us live on Tuesdays. So come through. Kick it with us. We Holla. missed our shot. They got a, a Harry Potter trivia game coming on TBS. Damn. Oh, what? Yep, starting in November. We didn't even see no casting calls or nothing. <laughs> Damn. Listen, I would have been studying up like a mug. I be like, wondering how they be finding these motherfuckers, man. How do you find out about casting calls? For a Harry Potter g- trivia game show on TV that's only going to be like limited edition for this one time. Like, what? You know we're going to have to watch that show together and prove a point. Okay. I'm just putting that up. Okay, anyways. <laughs> be easy, shells. Appreciate you telling the world. For shelf- I'm doing that at the TV like they can see me. <laughs> Y'all this way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you want to follow me on social media, you can catch me. Wait a minute. On Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter. Why, why are you, he popped in the screen. <laughs> he popped in the screen. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he popped in like old boy from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Toasty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Twitter, Instagram, and PSN at Camille Monet. C A M I L L E M O N A E because. Your mom is fancy. Thank you, sir. Oh, my yeah. Uh at the world champion Milwaukee Bucks burner. That's all you get. That's all you get. Yes. Every day. <laughs> um yeah, every day underscore um gentleman on Instagram. K Harris two sixteen on Twitter and Snapchat. And it's your boy, T I M K I N Z, the number three, aka ass catch him, aka Mr. Give It to Me. Oh wait, we forgot to talk about the Lakers. They trash. Damn. Uh, God damn. damn. Hey, bro, relax, bro. Mellow. That's all I said. Yeah, yeah, we did forget. Yeah, you know what? You had your. You, yeah, you spent your Laker trust. time on the Bears. You did. I'm all right. You spent <laughs> your Laker <laughs> time. All right. Now we got you next time, bro. We can, we can do it. I'm, I'm sure Russ gonna do something in the meantime, in between time, and then you know Brown will be back soon and shit. So we can, we, can, we can go home. We got now. you. We going home. Bye, y'all. <laughs> This has been a presentation break, 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 media. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.